Okay, uh, Shalom. Welcome to uh, GMS Live on stream. We are streaming live. Um, if any brothers in the chat room, if you could uh, put a comment and let us know if you're able to see us as well as hear us, you know, uh, give us some feedback. Uh, put a comment. Sounds okay. We on. All right, good. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to go into a few topics as the, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will allow. Obviously, the first topic, which we've been talking about it off the camera, is the image of Yahweh Shai. You got some scoffing jackasses <laughs> and uh, some scoffing or scorning morons that got a problem with the image that we use in post production of Yahweh Shai. And, uh, the image, let me say this, the, you got the image of Esau out there, which is Caesar Boger. One question that I have for these scorning jackasses and morons is, how are you gonna destroy Esau's image, which the scriptures set us up to destroy, as a matter of fact, we can start with that scripture, Second Corinthians. <clears throat> you know, the scriptures set us up to destroy all lies, man. One of the main lies is that image of Caesar Boger. Now, how are you going to destroy that lie with no image? You even had one jackass put a comment saying that um, uh, you guys should just not have no images. Why don't you just have no image? How are you going to destroy a fake image with no image? Anyway, uh, let's go to the scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, to the pulling down of strongholds. One of the main strongholds that has deceived our people is what? The image of Caesar Boger, man. When Esau came into power, what's one of the first things Esau did? Mm -hmm. He yeah. set up his image, right? Going back to the latter part of the 1300s, the 1400s. You had uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo <coughs> da Vinci were hired by the king and the queen to paint that image of Caesar Boger when the Boger family came into power. Yeah. You had Rodrigo Boger set up his son yeah. to be the new Jesus Christ, as it were. Yeah. And when there's a series called the Boger series, and in that series, uh, his brother, uh, I believe it was Juan, he said, um, he said, uh, have you had your portrait commissioned yet? You know, because back then you would have uh, certain men that were painters commission your portrait. And when they commission your portrait, they would actually draw a picture of you in whatever region they were in to, to say, well, this was so-and-so and such-and-such, -and -such. Mm -hmm. you know? So that was, that was the way of, of them uh, putting out the image of the people that were ruling in that, at that time. That's right, you know, and that's what the word re um, 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 renaissance means. Right. Also, we're going to get into the word idol because uh, going back to the Lord is saying you guys are not supposed to have any idols. We're also going to talk about the Ark of the Covenant. If that's the case, why well, you had the high priest that had the Ark of the Covenant, which was clearly an idol, and it was, it was sanctioned by the Heavenly Father that the Ark of the Covenant was to be built. And then later, the Ark of the Covenant would be who? Which really represented Yahweh Shai, right. which we're going to go into that. All right, so let's uh, continue reading. It says, casting down imaginations. Casting down imaginations. And that's where you get the word image from. You get imagination comes from image. Now, when you look up the word idol, which I looked up the word in the Latin, the word there is idolum, which means image. That's all it means, man. All right, the word idol means image. That's all it means. <clears throat> so we're set up to cast down imaginations. One of the main imagination out there is that the Most High is a so-called white man, which the majority of people believe that the Most High is a so-called white man and his son is a so-called white man. Mm -hmm. We're set up to destroy that image. That's right. With the right image. That's right. So what the fuck is you? Well, we know what your problem is. You know, but the, the scriptures say judgment, Proverbs 19 and 29, it says judgment is prepared for scoffers and scorners. 
Very soon, you're going to get your judgment, man. You're going to get what you've been looking for. Like the old saying, you're cruising for a bruising. You're going to get that bruising, man. And you ain't going to get up from it. All right? You ain't going to just wipe, wipe yourself off, dust yourself off, and get up from that bruising you're about to get. Go ahead, brother. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Now, did not that image of Esau, was it not a high thing that exalted itself against the image of the Heavenly Father and, and the Son? And it did worldwide. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, strategically set up by the wicked, the, the, uh, the wicked, which is Esau. Right. As a matter of fact, let's go to Job 9 and 24. Well, that's one of, uh, one of the ways we know that he's the wicked. That's right. I got it. <laughs> what the hell you guys think you're messing with, man? You're not, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, you. Well, first of all, you're not messing. You think you're dealing with men? You're not dealing with men. That's what uh, Ananias is a fire thought. You know, I said you thought that you you can't lie. You can lie to men, but you can't lie to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know. So you think that you're dealing with? Look, this is these ain't our words, man. You see this book right here? We didn't. We well, I'm not gonna say we didn't write it. Because we don't know, because you had prophets that wrote it, but the, the idea of everything that's in this book did not come from us. It yeah. came from the Father. You got that jackass eight, eight spades. He's in there. We are the image. No, we're not the image. Not yet. We have to conform. Or please bring that up. Yeah, conform sure. to the image of Yahweh Shai. Show you how, how stupid, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. That day is coming, man. Conform to the image of Yahweh Shai. What does the word conform mean? With image, we got to be formed into the image of Yahweh Shai, which we have not been. We have not been in that image yet. We will be. That's what we're hoping for. That's part of our hope to be just like Yahweh Shai. We ain't like Yahweh Shai yet. Yeah, because he's that heart of flesh. You get a chip. First of all, we got to get rid of this piece because of shit. Heart, right now. Yeah, well, wicked and shit. Yeah. What the, what the, what We're not in the kingdom. Well, brother, I know wrong. They're wicked. They're just wicked and evil. And you got a problem with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, them, them that would not rule, uh, them that would not uh, have me rule over them, bring them bring hither, hither and slay them before me. That's Luke 19 and 27. Anyway, let, let, let's uh, bring that. To yeah, conform this, the image come, of this, uh, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8. And... Uh, yeah, there was a time we we knew these scriptures is cold, man. But you know what? You know, you get a little older, you don't really remember all the scriptures, but spirit they're still there. Willing. But the spirit is, is the spirit always has has the the, the, the truth there, man. This is our, our Romans eight and twenty nine. For whom he did foreknow. What does twenty eight say? Uh, uh, Romans eight twenty eight, and we know that all things work together for the for good to them that love the Most High. Mm -hmm. To them who are his called according to his purpose. Right, which is, that's the elect. And that goes far beyond anybody's comprehension out there that don't understand what the scriptures are all about. Mm -hmm. For whom he did foreknow. For whom he did foreknow. That goes back to uh, when the Lord chose us, which the scriptures say he chose us even before the earth was created. Okay. All right? That's the Lord's elect. Okay. Go ahead. It says... For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate mm -hmm. to be conformed to the image of his son. To be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Now, have we gotten to the image of his son yet? No, we haven't. We haven't. We're, we're uh, approaching it. We're working on it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, but we ain't there yet, man. So no, we're not the image, not not right now, all right? We're not the, we're, we're in the process of trying to be like Yahweh Shai. Exactly, and if I may say something, Apostle, first of all, that's just a, a picture, was just depicting what the Lord looked like according to what the scriptures say, okay, a scriptural account. If you want to talk about us being an image, even in the times past, we've always had pictures of what we look like. Oh, well, we're gonna get into that. You understand? Too. Yeah. yeah so, so you know, basically, you, you guys saying that, man, you you just straining, you know, you're straining on a net. But just being wicked. And you just, just being, yeah, you really being just being wicked. Yeah, the so. scriptures speak, speak about certain individuals yep. that are contentious. You know. You got. Done. Done. Yeah. Another yeah. thing too, all the years, brothers, that we've been pushing this word, y'all. You never once saw any 
pro prophet, apostle, elder, whoever in GMS tell you to worship those signs. That's right. They're for edification, yeah. not for worshiping. But like yeah. I said, it goes back to what I said. How are you going to destroy a fake image with no image? That's right. Man. You can't do it, man. You have to have an image. So we shouldn't have no signs. Well, that's what they've been saying. We've <laughs> no images. <laughs> you guys produce the videos. When somebody mentions Yahweh Shai, nobody knows what he looks like. Yeah. Well, you know what? Oh, that makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. You don't worship the um, pictures or the thing because we put it right on the ground. Right. Now, when you worship something, you make sure you're delicate and soft with it. No, but we put it out there for because the picture is worth a thousand words, as it says. And we just use that and line it up with the scriptures, what the scriptures say. When the scriptures say casting down imaginations, one of the way of casting down an imagination is setting up the right image. That's right. These niggas right. is whack, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. And then, you know what? We, we, if, if that's the case, if that's the case, we shouldn't have the uh, 12 tribe sign out there. The 12 tribe sign is a sign that depicts all of the uh, ancient names of Israel and the, and the modern names of Israel. Hey, brother, let's be patient with these niggas. That'll be next. They will be like, I'm cast it. <laughs> I, I got the scripture, but you know what? We gonna keep on. on. Okay. You got something? Bring it up. Bring it up. Yeah, let, 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 yeah cut. Yeah, Job nine twenty four twenty. Let's fuck it. Job nine and twenty four. Now let's see one of the actions that the that the wicked did, which proves that he's the wicked. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. The earth is given into the hand mm -hmm. of the wicked, and the wicked, as you know, is Esau. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Malachi the first chapter. All right, mm -hmm. it says he covereth the faces. Of the judges thereof. Oh, what does that mean? Wait a minute. So they didn't have an image then, right? <laughs> yeah. What did they cover? How did, how did they cover something? What did it cover? <laughs> See that? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Read it again. It says, "The earth is given into the hand of the wicked." Right. He he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Meaning he covered the faces of the judges. And that goes back to what Elder Manadzak said. We always had images of what we look like. You had mur murals, you had um, uh, icons, right? Good. Yeah. Don't, don't we have a book called Russian Icons? That's right. And you have the icons of different uh, 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 holy men mm -hmm. of what they may have looked like back then. That's where you get the word icon Good. Or, or the word image, which comes from icon. Yes. If this ain't nothing new under the sun. Today you got a camera. Back then you had artists. Yeah, you had an artists that yeah that <laughs> depicted certain individuals. Yep. You know, there's um, Elder Ari always speaks about it. There's an icon of Yahweh Shai, and um, he was I think he was a, a little boy, about 12 years old, and he had cornrows <laughs> in his head. I remember Elder Ari used to talk about that. The, uh, an icon, you know, of Yahweh Shai as a boy with cornrows in his head. Hey, look at it. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> now, the scripture we read in Romans 8 29, it says it spoke about to be conformed to the image of his son. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look up the word image, you know, the image of his son, the Greek word there for image is icon. Look at that. It says an image, figure, likeness, an image of things, the heavenly things, use of the moral likeness of renewed. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm sorry, read that again. The image of what? An image of the things, uh -huh. the heavenly things. Oh, heavenly things. One of those morons said, oh, you're not supposed to have an image of the <clears throat> heavenly things. Well, well. Going what, back to the law. Yeah, but what about uh, when you go, uh, when when the Most High showed uh, the law, statutes, and commandments and the things that Moses just should set up, back going back to the time when he, when he was uh, on the earth, he said that make sure that you, uh, make sure that you make this uh, these images or or or, or this uh, when you set up the temple, make sure that you do it according to the image of the things that you saw. Now, one of the things that that, that was set up was in the holy of holies was what the ark of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Now, the ark of the covenant had what? It had the shoe bread. It had the Aaron's rod that budded. It had different things, you know. But then one of the things it had of, on the ark of the covenant was the two angels with their wings touching each other. Right. Which was which was above, which was below, and then above that was the mercy seat, where the where the, where the presence of Yahweh would, would would actually come to to the uh, um, to the uh, high priest mm -hmm. to to uh, give uh, um, um, to give forgiveness for for the sins of the nation of Israel for that year. Right. So you had the image of of, of angels there. That's right. And then when Yahweh Shai, which we could uh, we should go now that you mentioned that, yeah. we got to go to that scripture. 
Because when Yahweh Shai was risen from the grave, there were two angels, one at the, the head of the tomb and one at the foot of the tomb, which represented that Yahweh Shai is the Ark of the Covenant. All right? Which the word Ark means, ark, an Ark is like a bridge. Uh, Yahweh Shai is the bridge to the agreement. The word covenant means agreement. What's the, the agreement? That we keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. Now, through Yahweh Shai, we're able to do that. Because he's the Ark of the Covenant. The word Ark means bridge. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I, have, I don't have it yet. I'm just oh, okay. I got a quick priest there for you. Bring out your priest. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually, spiritually called Sodom, and Egypt, which also our Lord was crucified. You can go ahead and explain. Yeah. It said, The great city we all know is America. Look, spiritually Sodom. You got faggots, transgenders, somebody used the bathroom, walking, giving them rights. Egypt, which is self-explanatory, which means bondage. Who came here in bondage? The so-called Negroes, West Indians, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, heavily on those slave ships, and all the tribes here are in bondage. What, whether it's hardcore slavery or the contractual laws, having a birth certificate, so on and so on, a driver's license, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, the Lord didn't come down here physically and was crucified in America. He was crucified because of the image that was put up of Caesar Borgia, that pedophile, that freak, now has the whole world worshiping Caesar Borgia, but yet the Lord set forth his prophets to come out or his apostles last in bringing out the true image. That's right. So that's how the Lord was crucified, but that's how he's gaining back his glory through the spirit of the Lord. He said his word will consume the wicked as fire. So you would say, brother, to, to bring back, um, which the Lord is using us to bring back his glory, part of bringing back his glory, is that not propagating his, his right image? Good. Is that is that not showing his right image, pursuant to Revelation, the first chapter, the 13th to the 15th verse? Good. I got another precedent for you. Go ahead, bro. This is John 7 and 38. So he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, whoa, 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 wait a minute. As the scripture have said, what have the scripture said? Revelation, the first chapter. Huh. Revelation, of, and that's the first thing that he showed the apostle John on the island of Patmos. Huh. Yep. Now, wait a minute, the apostle, John, the apostle John was with Yahweh Shai. He was one of the 12. That's right. So he knew what Yahweh Shai looked like. Yep. But when he went into the heavens, why did he show Yahweh Shai? Why did he, I'm sorry, why did he show John? I'm a little excited. Mm -hmm. Why did he show John what he looked like in the heavens? Mm -hmm. For our learning today, man, because mm -hmm. the Lord knew that later Esau's image would be sown in the planet Earth. Yep. So we had to have the right image, right, to mm -hmm. destroy that image. Yep. And that's one thing that you scoffers can't explain to me. You can't explain to me how is able to, how are you able to destroy a fake image without an image? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm going to say, that's why Yahweh Shai told the disciples and the apostles, you got to put in the work while it's daytime because the darkness coming. That darkness conceded of them covering the faces of the judges. And that's the main, <laughs> and that's the main sin, by the way, that Esau did that sealed his fate. Yeah. The yep. sin of blasphemy. Right? Yep. The sin of blasphemy by putting up his image as the heavenly father and his son. That was a, that was a crucial wicked thing that he did, man. That proves that he's the wicked. Yep, the seed of the whole all the nations. There you go. I got that scripture. Okay, bring it up. Uh, St. John chapter 20, verse 11. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, and as she wept. Hey, Shalom, Elvatar. Yeah, Pastor Shalom. Yeah, Shalom. 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 Khan, Khan, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay, we got uh, Apostle Elita on the phone. So, um, <clears throat> all right, you should, you should be good now. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can, yeah, hear, we can you. hear you. Uh, uh, and you uh, brothers uh, on the uh, comment board, make sure that if you if you, if you can hear the elder, you know, Apostle Tar, let, let us know. I got a question. This is on a scripture. That he, uh, he helped, and he helped with breaking the scripture down because I, <laughs> I started to, uh, uh, I was, uh, and just, he took the question down. Okay, and this mm. is the question right here, right? This is, uh, 
Second uh, Samuel, the 13th chapter, the 22nd verse. You can read it while I get off the air. You know, I'm not going to be on long. Yeah. And I asked this question. I said, what does the above scripture mean? Right I would like a complete analysis of the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Word, word for word. And uh, you can go to the letter, or you can even go to the um, uh, Ben Yehudi Dictionary or the Concordance. And let's pull out some key words because I was shocked. I was shocked and amazed at the fact that my man, Alize, I asked him a question in the name of the video. I'm going to put the video up on the on comment board. It's called um, the Sakari uh, 1715. And the name of the video was Re to R runs into Ariya, the really Hebrew text, the Sakari. All right. If you go to if you go to that page, yeah, I put I put the uh, question up, and it's not there no more. But on my actual account, it's still there because you can't take it down. So if other if other people want to see it, they then they won't be able to see it. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna ask it again. It says this is um Second Samuel 13 verse 22. And the question I asked was, what does the above the above scripture mean? P.S. I would like a complete analysis of the scripture. So, would you kindly, your apostle, kindly go into the right now? All right. <laughs> That's just a little. That's just funny, man, because you got to run it, man. And now, let me say this. We say this here. We go to the book of, um, because uh, they forget about this scripture, this scripture right here. If you go to a Revelation, if you go to Revelation um, 22, y'all already know I'm going to go to, but I'm just going to bring it up. Revelation 22, verses uh, 18 and 19, it says, Foot. I testify unto every man that he has the words of the prophecy of this book. Many of them, the, of the book of Revelation, which the Revelation is part of the entire book, so it's talking about the whole book. Not just the book of Revelation, it's talking about the whole book. If any man has these things, the most I shall add unto him, but the written this book. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of uh, this prophecy, uh, the most I so take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Now there's another one, but I believe that's Proverbs. Was that Proverbs 30? Let's go to the second 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 Samuel is 13 to 22. Okay. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Proverbs 30, verse 6. Thou said thou not unto his words, he in the scriptures, lest he prove thee, and thou be found a liar. There's another one I have to go to the room as well, but there was two I'm going to hit. And my uh, brother's got to realize this, man. I said, you add, you saying that the you say that Cornelius is, is an Edomite, you add the book. If you're saying that the mark of the beast, the, the, the chip, the mark of the beast is Christianity and embargo, your head to the book and you said take a look at the chat. Now another thing came up concerning and this one video, I'll put that up as well. Uh on the Sakari uh page. And he um the second command, I forget his name. He um called Johanna a while back and asked him about the mark of the beast and then Johanna, General Johanna, he said, Look man, I'm gonna he said he's gonna take the chip and he told him to do Brother, he gonna take the chip because you wanna eat. Which if that if, if that's true, that actual conversation took place, which I don't see why the brother would lie about that, man. But he said he actually talked to General Yohana and about the Mark of the Beast being the chip, and Yohana came out and said, and I quote, that he's gonna take the chip and he's gonna take the chip because you gotta eat and your kids gotta eat. So if that's the case, that means Johanna knows that the mark of the beast is a chip, but he's de deceiving his followers, man. Yeah. So yeah. This, this this has to be addressed. Now, if Johanna don't want to answer it, or if he don't want to deal with it, or he says, F you, so that's all right, too. But I don't think the brother will just come out of the blue, out of the blue air, and just out of the blue sky, and just, and just make a thing like that. Why would he lie? 
lying on a man like that, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Like, like I said, I'm going to say it again. If that, if that conversation went down the way the man said it went down, then um, General Yahana knows that the market is the chip, but he's deliberately deceiving his followers. So I'm going to hang up and I'm going to let y'all deal with this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, scriptures speak about many shall follow their pernicious ways. All right? Talking about uh, uh, General uh, Yohanna. You know? Yeah, he's going to mention wax work. Yep. Yeah, and scriptures also say, Yahushai said it. He said, uh, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. So you got to have individuals like General Yohanna and Nate and what other, what other wayward individual out there. You got to have those individuals set up to deceive Yahweh and to deceive uh, uh, certain individuals that are not worthy. And guys like Captain Crunch is, is just fucking retarded, man. That's that blind, you know, leading the blind. Yeah. He's an idiot, man, and, and he knows, man. You can't be that goddamn stupid, man. You know? Yeah, well, well, what's the issue we're dealing with? With Yahweh Shai. With the image of Yahweh Shai. Now they got a problem with that. All you guys are worshiping idols. You know? Yeah. yeah Priest of General Gang Green. Yeah, General Gang Green. Yeah, this is um, John 10 and 11 through 12. So I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Oh, man. <laughs> Brother, and that's the Lord. Yahweh Shai said that. All right, Johanna's not giving his life. He talk. That's all bullshit, man. I love black. People. That's bullshit, man. Well, first of all, the Lord ain't looking for black people. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. That's Lord, right. When the Lord comes back, right? Uh, soon to Matthew uh, twenty-four, mm -hmm. the around the what is it? Around the twentieth uh, uh, verse, I think it is. He gathers elect. He shall gather who? Black people? No. 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 He said his, the scriptures say he's gonna gather his elect. That's right. From the four corners of the earth. That's right. And by the way, we're the only main group, Great Millstone, that pushed out about the elect. Everybody else, they talk about the nation. The nation of Israel, the nation of Israel. The Lord ain't dealing with the nation. He's dealing with the elect. That's right. Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for? Israel is the nation. What are they seeking for? The truth. A lot of them think it's in the black consciousness bullshit. Some of them think it's Buddha. All these different philosophies out there, but it says the election have obtained it, and the rest were what blinded. blinded. So why are you blinded. talking about the nation? Yeah. The rest were blinded, man. Two thirds. It's all about the elect. But, but, it, because he's he's a he's a fucking Judas goat, man. He's a Judas goat. You know, at the bottom line, he don't give a damn about you niggas, man. First of all, he ain't laying his life down on the line. You in a fucking room, all right, sitting there eating. He's probably eating shrimp. And pork and all other kind of fucking abominations, man. Because he's a wicked ass nigga, man. The most I ain't dealing with that nigga, man. Well, I'll talk about some general Gehanna. That, man. <laughs> hey, brother, if I could say this, man, that belly ain't big, that big for nothing. Man. You got all kind of abominations in there. Man. You don't have a big belly like that if you're eating lawful, yeah. righteous. <laughs> if you're eating lawful, righteous food, you don't have a big belly. I think belly you can't like probably spell chlorophyll, you know? man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Green what, earth. What, what, only only green you know about is the gang green he's got, man. No, 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 Slack. no, the green, the green of Federal Reserve notes. Nah, yeah, that, that green. That's Slack, man. Slack. I must be, I must be allowed to speak about the shot. No, <laughs> but uh, see the reason, the reason why he's talking about black people and all that. That see those terms, black people, uh, Latinos, and all. We use those terms, and uh, we say so called because those are not the names of the Israelites. Those are just names that. The so-called white man, the devil, he saw them put on our, you know, on our people. And I use that term loosely because our people right now is only the elect. But that's what they put on them. So this is uh, um, the book of Isaiah, I'm sorry, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So the darkness is that they think that we're niggas, spicks, spooks, wetbacks. We're nothing, you black know. Black people, black people, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, Mexicans, and all of all those other names that they put upon us. 
But the fact and reality is that we are the Israelites from the different perspective tribes. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. darkness has been out there. So when these guys like General Yohan and them say, we, we're here for black people, they're still keeping that veil upon you. They haven't yeah. peeled that veil away from you. And, 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 and that's the thing that mother sellouts do that shit, man. Niggas that don't give a fuck about you, they sit there and, and lie, or, or they sit there and use that catchphrase, but they know that people are stupid. If they hear that, you know, oh yeah, see, he loves black people, he said it. Yep. Which first of all, he shouldn't even be telling, calling you black people, man. Right. Like the apostle quoted, the Lord is not coming for no black people, man. That's right. not in the scriptures, right. man. Right. You know, but him knowing that being the Judas goat that he is, not giving a fuck about you stupid niggas that may support this nigga because you're stupid, you're too stupid to read something, you know? Turn it, they, they, she's keeping that veil upon yeah. the people, that, that, that veil, you know, that, that blindness upon them. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the book of Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain, hmm. meaning in America, because a mountain represents what? A government. Yep. Yep. That's the highest point of a government. The highest point of the American government uh, 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 um, in the so-called way is the Senate, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the legislation, this so-called government, uh, uh, you know, the different congressmen and so-called president, vice presidents, uh, secretary of the state or whatever, right? It says that he will destroy in this mound, meaning in America, the face of the covering cast over all people. So the Lord right now, what he's doing is he's taking... The, that covering has been put over everybody, not just about the Most High, about Yahweh Shai, about the angels being uh, uh, white, because that's what they said, they're white. And that, that's being taken away by, by what we out there teaching. But also of, of the, the people that is, that's out there in the world and their, their actual nationality. And what are their nationalities? That's being taken away. Like the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Native Americans, Indians, being Israelites. You know, that's one of the main issues out there. You know, of course, you know, the Most High being a black man, Yahweh Shai being a so-called so black man, should I say, Yahweh Shai being a so-called black man, the angels being so-called black men, that's a great issue. So and that's something that's- So are we supposed to have images? Yeah. To uh, depict that? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Because, because that, uh, uh, the mind thinks in pictures, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's easier for somebody to remember something if they see an actual picture, that's why, these so-called international bankers, they use movies to uh, uh, um, push images into your mind to make you uh, uh, think and react to their, to their uh, uh, um, uh, status and their way of life. Your brother has some? Kind of like Hollywood. When we was growing up, we thought Egyptians was white because Elizabeth Teller played Queen, uh, Cleopatra. Yep. And that mm -hmm. threw a witchcraft or a blind or a bell. And then when you know them, Hamites are dark-skinned just like the Hebrews. God. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the point. The point is that the Lord allowed this thing to happen, right? These devils, they came up through the dark ages, you know, after the dark ages, should I say. Uh, uh, <coughs> now, uh, they they have put their, pushed their image out there, and now everything is being destroyed. The image is being destroyed. Somebody say something. Right. Hey, like the pastor Shout said, the, pastor. the image is being destroyed. You, you got the scripture? Kind of still, yep. This is... Um... Okay, John 10 and 11. I'm the good shepherd, the good shepherd giving his life okay, for the, the sheep. Okay, or the one in um, the but he that is a hireling and not right, the, the good shepherd, shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So, how are you giving your life for the sheep and you're not out there with them when they are on the highways and the byways, okay. man? All right, you ain't on the battlefield, so I, the water, I, you ain't on the battlefield, so you know, Johanna is not the good shepherd, man. He's an evil, wicked shepherd, man. All right, he don't give his life for the sheep, okay. But he that is a hireling. He that is a what? A hireling. General Johanna is a what? Hireling. Nick Satan's a what? <laughs> hireling. Uh, Bubble Eye Blackfish is a what? Hireling. Hirelings, man. That's what you niggas are. You're a bunch of goddamn hirelings, man. But you're not the shepherd. And you're not the shepherd. You're not the, you're not the leaders of the, of the nation of Israel, man. You're looking at the true leaders of the nation of Israel, starting with the apostles of GMS, the, the elders that have been approved before us, okay? And the other brothers that's coming back into the right fold, all right? Not that wicked-ass fold, but Whose own the sheep are not. Right, whose own the sheep are not. The elect is not going to listen to no goddamn blowhard calling himself General Gehenna, and he's burning down this and that, but he's nowhere to be found. 
He's a hireling. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Who's hey, older, cheaper or not? Oh, scriptures say that they, they uh, judge for reward. God. Yeah, and the yeah. priests teach for hire, yeah. so he's he's an example. He's an example, and he got meaning money. He got that stupid, it's like, and he got that stupid nigga Frankenberry. He got him all caught up into that black uh, side net of debates and all that for money, man. Apostle said it, and I see it, and that's what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, it's all for money. It's all for money, man. <clears throat> that's the only reason why he getting down with that dumb bullshit, man. Opening up his pass over to everybody. It's all for money. Uh, setting up. These businesses and getting a 501c3 charter. He's all about money getting paid, man. I got a quick scripture. This is our Titus chapter. Yeah, we're going to go into um, uh, Second Samuel. Huh. Uh, Titus 1 and 11 says, Whose mouths must be stopped. And the Lord is going to stop his mouth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Who subvert whole houses, mm -hmm. teaching things which they ought not. Teaching things which they ought not. The mark of the beast is an embargo. That's something you ought not to be teaching, man, because that's bullshit, man. Right? Teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. But that's why. The script is on live, man. Sold out. You guys yeah, sold, sold out. out. Yeah. And then, like I said, uh, which I got the scripture here, something that uh, Yahweh Shai said. Uh, this is uh, Matthew, uh, the book <coughs> of Matthew, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. But he answered, and this is Yahweh Shai, and said, Every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. That's why you read that uh, scripture, whose mouths must, must be, be stopped. stopped. Yeah. See, when the, when he's deceived enough individuals, mm -hmm. talking about Gehenna, mm -hmm. the heavenly father going to get rid of him. Because yeah. he performed his service. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he performed his job. Yeah. Right? So that's what Yahweh Shai said. Every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. So we don't have to worry about him. And then it says, uh, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So that's why he set up. He set up as blind, leading the blind. So both of them will fall in the ditch. Remember, the Lord only wants his elect. He has a number that he wants. That's it. Right? So we don't worry about clowns like him. Very soon the Lord will get uh, rid of him. Go ahead. There's a little bit more on that. It says, <laughs> but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf cometh and leaveth the sheep and flee it. And that's what that's what Gehenna is going to do. When all hell break loose, when martial law comes into play, he's going to step to the side, man, like the Judas goat that he is, and allow the sheep to get slaughtered. Okay? And the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. There you go. It says the hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. And the sheep that scattereth, there were none of Yahushua's sheep anyway. Remember the statement Yahushua said. Right, right, right. He said, You are not of my sheep. You don't hear my words. You're not of my sheep. And then he said, uh, Then he said, My sheep hear of my voice. They know my voice and they follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man. Right? And none of my sheep was lost, save the son of perdition. Save the son of perdition. All right, so uh, now we're going to deal with this issue of uh, uh, what is that with uh, Tamar? Yeah, well, <clears throat> basically, yeah, it's dealing with Amnon and Tamar, dealing with this asshole, uh, Alize. Because this, this, see, see, I'm going to just say this, right? This guy, Sakari, Alize, Alizar, whatever the hell you want to call him, he wants, he wants fame. Mm -hmm. You know, so you getting fame. You know, you you getting your name mentioned, all right? You little asshole, you getting your name mentioned, all right? And we're gonna call it straight up, man, because that's what you are. You're nothing but an attention whore, all right? You want attention, you get attention. Now your dumbass was 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 pretty much uh, shamed by this guy, polite. You know, polite shamed you because he went into the actual uh, definition of the word uh, uh, that was in the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty second chapter. And you had no clue or no idea because you was being emotional, like a little cunt that you are. No, he ended up telling Polite angels were created on another planet. Yeah. Polite had him had on the rope. In, in such a bind that he ended up telling Polite that angels were created on another planet. <laughs> to this day, he hasn't told us what planet it was. That's right. Whether it's Saturn or yeah. Uranus or, or Pluto, yeah, Pluto yeah, or yeah. Venus yeah. or Mars. Yeah. Or what planet? Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet Rock. Planet Rock. Planet Bottom. Planet the same planet on the bottom was on. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Bombat. So now, yeah, the, the point is yeah, that, yeah. that there was a situation that was happening here, right? 
and Amnon, which is the son of David, Good. and Tamar, which was a daughter Good. of uh, of, of uh, Absalom, he wanted to, to deal with her, you know? And she, he really wasn't supposed to deal with her, you know, because she was too much of a close akin to him, you know? So this this is what this is something that took place and it happened. I'll start at 10, brother. All right. Second Samuel 13. And, you, and if you want to get the whole story, read the second Samuel, read the book of Second Samuel 13, and you'll get the whole story. Second, second Samuel 13 and 10. And Amnon said unto Tamar, Bring the meat into the chamber that I may eat of thine hand. Why? Because he loved her and he wanted he wanted to have her for himself. You know? So he felt sick. And when he felt sick, he, he, he uh, 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 the men that were with him told King David that he was sick. And King David came to him and he said, what, you know, what can we do for you? And he said, well, look, send my sister Tamar so she can come over here, which is really his uh, uh, niece. Send my, my sister Tamar here. She can feed me or something to that extent. You can read the, you can read the story and get the whole, uh, the whole thing. Go ahead. Uh, and Tamar <clears throat> took the cakes which she had made and brought them unto the chamber to Amnon, her brother. Okay. And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her. He grabbed her, right? Because he wanted her. So that means Tamar must have been bad. She must have been a fine woman, a young tenderoni, basically. Okay. He took hold of her and said unto that's her, right, that's right. Come lie with me. My sister. Have sex with me. Let's do, you know, let's do the, the wonka chonka, yes, nasty. The, the, the nasty, the, 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 the flying mongo, the or whatever nasty. they call it. The wild, the wild mongo, you know? He want, he want, he want, he want, to, he want to get busy with her. You know? Yeah. He says, come lie with me, my sister. And she answered him, nay, my brother, do not force me. What? Stop, go to presses. Mm. He says, stop, my brother, do mm. not force me. Now that word force there comes from the Hebrew word aina, which means to lay hold of, to deal harshly with, to punish. Right? She said, don't do that to me, because he grabbed her up, and she can't get away from him, because he's strong in there. And, 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 and she didn't say that because that act was wrong. Right, because men didn't grab. It was a reason why she said that. Yeah. Right. Let's let's let's. Well, why yeah, did she say that? Exactly. Because that was her yeah. uncle. Yeah. They were closely yeah. related. And when you go to Leviticus the 18th chapter, yeah. Leviticus yeah. the 18th chapter says you're not supposed to deal with anyone that's close akin to you, yeah. whether it's your yeah. aunt or your sister or your mother or your father's woman or this and that or the other. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you pink heart niggas, yeah. man. You had these fucking women. They were more rougher than you, man. They understood about a man dealing with a woman. You understand? Hey. Pussy heart niggas, man. You get all messed up over that. But but she she tell she telling us straight because we're close to Ken. Right. Man. Not that it was wrong for a man to, to grab up a woman that wasn't exposed to nobody, that wasn't dealing with nobody. You niggas are fucking pussies, man. Let's bring that law. Let's bring that law. Leviticus 18. Let's, bring, let's go to the law. Yep. Start at one. While you're going there, I just want to say this. In the Red Bible, mm -hmm. uh, for force me, there's a number five there, and it says humble me. Wow. I know. Okay? Wow. I know. Which, one of the ways you humble a woman is by having sex with her. By, by wow. Being rough. That's what, back then our rods were a lot bigger than, than they are now. Kind of. And that was there was a reason for that <laughs> to put yeah. to inflict pain punishment, yeah. punishment on a woman. Man. And you know, you know yeah. how you know, to humble her. And you know what was heavy too, because like if you're dealing with a woman, you have a sex with her, and you look her in the eyes, she'll look away from you. Yeah. Because yeah. somehow she knows she's that she's family. being humble. Yeah. She's being yeah. humble. We're yeah. Dead. You know? Okay, you got the law? You only start at one and go right to the point. Yeah, you know, make the uh, judge. Start at one and, you know, okay, you know start at one. Point, point is at six. Yeah, start at right. one. Leviticus uh, 18 and one. And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ath Shimei Shai spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord thy power. Uh, after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. Mm -hmm. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I, I bring you, shall ye not do. Why? Because these nations were doing those wicked acts. By the way, the Canaanites, that's the, the Hamites, man. Yep. All right? The Egyptians, another group of Hamites, which would be known as so-called Africans today. That's right. Uh, and the Lord said we're not supposed to, to behave like they behave. That's right. You hear that, South nigga? 
That's one of the reasons why when you came down to our camp, we gave you the big brush off. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 Africa Bambuti did the ways of the heat. Oh, yeah. Well, he yeah. got the name Africa. Yeah. 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 Africa. Yeah. Hey, he keeping it yeah. real. Yeah. 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 Hey, he keeping it going, man. He keeping it, going, man. He keeping it, he keeping it real, man. You know, that's what the Africans do. They go up each other's asshole. All right? He, yeah. he, he, he keeping it yeah. African. You know, keeping it real. <laughs> Africa Bambata. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, we, we all know the planet he was talking about. Yeah, rocking. Yeah. planet he was rocking. Yeah. Uranus. Verse, what time? <laughs> Verse three. Planet Uranus. After, after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan. What? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Another thing that they were they were known for being a fact for being homosexual. Since we're gonna go there, yeah. the first homosexuals on, on earth really was Cain and Hamites. We so called Africans, man. That's right. You see? So when you when you develop that comedic science, that's what that's all about. That's why the, the top figures in the comedic world today, such as Africa being Bati, uh uh Bati nigga that's doing ten lives. Um what's oh, that nigga? Oh, not there, Dr. 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 Pork, Dr. Pork, Dr. York. Okay, and he was, he got convicted. He admitted to molesting boys, man. And they were dealing with that comedic science, which goes back to the original Af so called Africans, the original Hamites, which yeah. you get Kemet from. Yeah, because, because if, he, if he was really not guilty, he would have not pleaded nothing. Exactly. He pleaded guilty, and they gave him, what, 135 years? So if he would have just said, fuck it, you know, y'all do what you got to do, they gave him, what, a thousand years? So what? You was going to give him yeah, 135 exactly. years anyway. So if he exactly. really wasn't guilty, he wouldn't have pleaded to none of that shit. But you have some wicked ass niggas come and try to sit there and justify just a wicked ass pedophile. A nigga that's yeah. convicted of it, that got people giving testimonies. Proof. Yeah. Proof. You ain't got, if they want to condemn <laughs> righteous men such as the apostles of GMS and, and the rest of the brothers of GMS. Right after the saw nigga did that, that's when all that firestorm wow. came out yeah. about wow. showing how, yeah. hey, because yeah. saw nigga, he got a picture where he's playing chess. Well, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshai made a chess move on you, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. You know, he got that picture where, he, <laughs> where he's playing chess. He got two, I think he got a rook in one hand mm -hmm. and a king in the, in, in the other, mm -hmm. something like that. But mm -hmm. anyway, that was a chess move that the Heavenly mm -hmm. Father through his son did on you or something? Spiritual check. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Spirit, yeah. He found the checkmate. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Verse 3. And uh, after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Okay, now get to the get to the point. Six verse. Six verse. It said, uh, none of you shall approach unto uh, unto any that is near of kin to him. Yeah, that says it all right there. It is. You ain't supposed to approach to any that's what? Near, Near of kin to him. What does that mean? That means your mother, your sister, your aunt, anybody within that close vicinity. Now, your second cousins, you could deal with. Your first cousin, you're not supposed to deal with. Second cousins, you could deal with. How do we know that? When you go and read the book of Tobit, the woman that Tobit dealt with, she was his second cousin because Tobit's father, and I believe it was uh, her, the, the, the chick's uh, father or mother, they were first cousins. So Tobit and the woman were second cousins. So it's, you can deal with your second cousin on down, but your first cousin, your aunts, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your sister, your daughter, your mother, that's all off, your, your father's women, all off limit to you. And Tamar and uh, Ammon, well, close of kin. That's right. That was so his brother's why, daughter. Right. That's right. So that's why, um, going back to the, uh, that's said, why she said she what she said. Yeah, that's right. So she was being more righteous, righteous than, 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 than he. Uh, uh, yeah, than um, Amna. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 6. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord thy power. That's right. Another thing, too, you ain't supposed to, if you lay down with one sister, and in that family, oh, right. there's another sister. You, can't. you ain't supposed to lay down with her as well, man. Nah. Yeah. All right? That's, That's wicked in the sight of the Lord, too. Yeah, niggas need to do it. All right? You, you, got, guys you, got, did that. you got certain guys that, that, that do that. Yeah, they right? got themselves Israelites and all that. They yeah, exactly. That. We're going to leave it at that. No? Go ahead, brother. All right, so go, go on, brother. Cut. This is 2 Samuel 13 and 12. And she answered him, Nay, my brother, do not force me. Right. Do not, I, me. Humble me. Humble me. Humble me. Okay. 
For no such you hear that, Alize? Yeah. Like I said, in the red bottle, I'm looking at it. You got the number. <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> you got the number five, <laughs> which says, humble me. That's right. Read it. That's right. You read what I, I tell you to read. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. It says, for no such thing ought to be done in Israel. It says, it ought not to be done. Now, notice. She said, no such thing ought to be done in Israel because the other nations are doing it according to what we read where in the book of Leviticus. In Israel, because the other nations were doing that abomination. Yeah. Do not thou this folly. So the folly was not, as Elder Montag said earlier, the folly was not that he took her by force. Right. The folly was that she was closely related to him. Near of kin to him, yeah. You That's see, you see how it works. That's it. It's easy. This is everything is in the scriptures, man. Okay. Because the the, the prove that how would uh who was Caleb's brother? If, if the brothers know off the top. Um, who? Hafni. Was, was that Caleb's brother? Caleb's brother Hafni, I believe so. If I'm not mistaken. Right. Now, now he dealt with Caleb with his right. with his daughter. Caleb's daughter, yeah. Because because it was. Because it was it was a, a, a oath, right? You you understand? Right. According to the law, it was an oath. All right. So you had those certain times, and then plus two back then, the, the the laws weren't implemented as they were now. You know what I'm saying? You know that was after the time of Moses that it was hidden on tablets. So you had certain times where, you know, that happened. But at this time, they knew that no, look, we're close to Ken. We're yeah. not supposed to be doing this. Right. Well, he just read the law. When that was instituted, all that practice stopped. And that's, well, and that's why that was instituted, because yeah. Israel started growing. Multiplying. Right. Multiplying. Well, it tells that's you that right. in the book of Exodus. Okay. Matter of fact, go to that, the first chapter. Yeah, and then and then when you go back during the time, because uh, uh, Jacob, Jacob dealt with yeah. two sisters. That's right. right. Leah and Rachel, yeah. right? Was it Leah and Rachel? No. Uh, 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 well, Leah and Rachel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The other two were sisters. The, the other two were handmaids. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but they were actual slot. sisters, right. right? Because the nation was still young back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Just started. The Lord said, stop. But, 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 but in Egypt, Egypt yep. right yeah. in Egypt, we started multiplying, which yeah. he's going to read it. <laughs> yeah. Exodus, the first chapter. Yeah. Exodus 1. Hey, I'm sorry. Proverbs 4 and 7. 4 and 7. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, with all I get and get understanding. Well, the only ones that's going to get understand is the elect, right? It goes back to the elect, of which we hope that we are of that number. It goes back to what the Apostle Paul said about we are prisoners of hope. One of the things that keep us in prison is we're hoping that we're of the elect while in the sinful flesh, right? Go ahead, bro. Uh, Exodus 1, verse 1. Now, these are the names of the children of Israel. No, get to, you know, get to the front. Get to the front. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so right. verse go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Um verse uh ten, uh nine. And he said unto his people, behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Now we started multiplying. All right? That's why the, then the law was instituted. Because we started multiplying as a nation. And that happened in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. So like, yeah, I'm gonna jump up. Okay, go ahead. Two words. I'm gonna get right to the point. Uh, uh, Exodus 1 and 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. Oh, and what? And increased abundantly. They started multiplying as a nation. Then the law had to be uh, put down on tables of stone mm -hmm. to create what? Order. Because without the law, you got disorder. And one of the laws was what we just read concerning uh, uh, Tamar and Amnon. So, right? Go ahead, Bruce. And multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty. And right. exceeded mighty. Mm -hmm. There it is, man. Yeah. <laughs> and and when oh, this good. happened in the land of Egypt, Egypt, not in the land of Israel, in, Zari, yeah. in the land of Egypt, yeah. <laughs> right? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Said, and and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. There you go. So that that's the point right there. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to 2 Samuel uh, 12, I'm sorry, 13 and uh, 13. All right, 2 Samuel 13, 13. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? Yep. And as for thee. Yeah, because she was raped 
by her uncle. Yeah, sure. You hear these women out here, I was raped by my uncle, or you know, this and that and the other. That's crazy. It, it's wicked, but it, that's prevalent among It happens a lot. Yeah, amongst yeah. Uh, amongst yeah. Ephraim and Judah. Yeah, yeah, all they're all tribes. All the tribes. That shows you how much the Israelite woman has, has fallen. Mm. Yeah. Now, now these women, they, they boast about laying with multiple men. Mm -hmm. There's one video I was watching, this one black bitch, she said, they asked her how many men uh, what was your sex count? Oh, what was your sex count? She said about 30. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. No, but, but the way she said it, like yeah. she was proud. Yeah. 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 You know, it's a shame. Yeah, no shame. Yeah. One of the yeah. brothers that, Body I think count. the brother from Seattle did the video. The dude was going around asking these, these women, what's your sex count? And you could, you know, the women that was more ashamed, the so-called white woman, when they would, when, when he would ask them, they put their head down and they, you know, mm -hmm. but the nigga woman's all boisterous with it. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 now, now uh, Tamar, she just made a statement. Yeah. Where will I uh, read that okay. part again? And what, and uh, it's a slide. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So. <laughs> it's, uh, you could have read it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? Whither shall I cause my shame to go? Right. So she was concerned about her reputation. <laughs> Unlike these nigga women today, right? Yeah. right? They're not condemned. They, they don't okay. give a shit about their reputation. Yeah. So that shows you how far our women has has, has fallen. Because yeah. she was still under the roof of her father. So at least she'd be found with a child under her father's roof. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So that was a shame Ashamed. for a woman to be found with child under her father's roof. Plus she plus yeah. plus no man, no man back then wanted a woman that wasn't a virgin. Kind yeah. of. Those were damaged goods. Yeah. For a woman to keep her virginity was precious, yeah. right? And the father made sure of that yeah, like because, gold. right, the, the woman was a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, asset, uh, asset. Yeah, an asset. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, an asset. Uh, commodity. Uh, commodity, but. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, no, not a help no. me. It was like a property. That's it. Yeah. Property to the father. Valuable property. So when the father gave away the property, he wanted to make sure the property was was, was uh, intrinsic man yeah, yeah. the property right. wasn't damaged it wasn't gmo yeah. right it wasn't yeah, exactly. <laughs> go ahead brother and, uh, it this, wasn't tainted it wasn't tainted polluted. right polluted polluted yeah. yeah it says and i <laughs> whither shall i cause my shame to go and as for thee thou shalt be as one of the fools in israel why because he laid down or he took his, his uh, <laughs> you know one of somebody that was close to him cancer. which was against the law he broke the law yeah, and the word was going to go around. Right, you know? and how much more he was supposed to be the king's son. Yep. So if anybody was supposed to have a good reputation, was supposed to be him. That's right. Him being the king's son. That's right. That's right. right. Now, now, why wasn't that written in the law in in Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty eight, which we're going to go to? Why wasn't that clause written there? Why didn't it say that you know, if this man when he pays the the, the damsel's daughter fifty shekels of silver, and that he shall be a fool in Israel because he did this thing? Right. Right. Yeah. You know, right. that ain't there. Right. Because he didn't take his close of kin to him. Yeah, he just took a random woman. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, brother. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak <laughs> unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. Mm -hmm. Which when she was just trying to put him off. You know, because King David right now, you just get, you know, he would he would have knew about the law. He said, no, you can't, you know, you can't deal with her. That, that's your, that's your uh, niece, you know? So he would have, you know, but she was trying to use wisdom to try to like push him off, but, but he wasn't trying to hear it. Okay. It says, how be it, he would not hearken unto her voice, but being stronger than she forced her and I made not, her. I nod her. What verse are you in? Uh, 14. 14. I nod her. And laid with her, meaning he popped it. He took his Johnson and stuck it, stuck it in her, against her will. And we just keeping it real, no, you know. So now jump to the twenty-first uh, verse. All right. But when King David heard of, it, but when King David heard of all these things, mm -hmm. he was very wroth. Why? Because that was his son, and that was his granddaughter. That the guy popped. Mm -hmm. Why? Because going back to the law, the law says you're not <laughs> supposed to deal with anybody that's closer to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And Absalom spake unto his brother Abnon, neither good nor bad. Okay. For Absalom hated Abnon 
because he had forced his sister Tamar. Yeah, I nodded. Now go to Deuteronomy 22 and 28. Deuteronomy 22, 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, mm -hmm. which is not betrothed, which meaning she's not engaged, and there's a reason why that's being brought out, because when you read up above that, the law and rape was if the woman had a man, that man would be put to death if she screamed. If she didn't scream, the man and her would both put to death because she was in cahoots with it. She was right. with it. Right. She was with it. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. Right. But that's the that's the thing. Whether she she actually had a man that that was popping her, she was married. Or whether she was promised to a man, she still would get put to death if she didn't scream. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 criteria there is that the woman was promised to a man, or she was married to a man. Read it again. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, mm -hmm. which is not betrothed, okay. and lay hold on her, and lay hold word on her, is not betrothed. Oh, that's right. And lay hold on her, and then grab her. And lie with her. And lie, because remember, uh, uh, Amnon grabbed Tamar. He mm -hmm. grabbed her up. And he lied with her. And he lay with her. Or laid with her. Yeah. You know, you know, he, he put his he put his Johnson in her. <laughs> yeah. Deep yeah, inside. That's, it, bro. that's what. Yeah. You know, yeah, even though yeah. it was wicked. wicked yeah. But it's that's truth. what happened. Dirty mushroom. And that's what Dirty niggas. And that's what. <laughs> and that's what niggas is known for. That's right. But he put his mushroom tip in. <laughs> Somebody get go ahead. Somebody get the uh, a blue letter on that. On just in case you just in case you got certain individuals <coughs> that you don't understand comprehend what is being said. Yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty eight is it twenty nine? I know. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Read it again. It says, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin which is not betrothed and lay hold on her and lie with her, and they be found. Right, meaning that that they they found out. You know, because why? Because you know, eventually people are gonna know about it. Yep. Huh? They're gonna inquire. Because everything back then, whenever you did something that was against the law, or whenever you did something that everything was inquired of, there were councils held. Okay. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty, sh okay. 50 shekels of silver. Why? Because that was a compensation for taking a, a property of this man. Good. Right, he ain't get all emotional. I'm gonna kill you, nigga. Right, I'm looking for you. You know, he ain't get all yeah. emotional. Yeah, daddy's little girl. Yeah, no, they they dealt with they dealt with things. See, the problem with you niggas, you niggas have got that pink heart, man. You're very, you're very emotional. Yeah, as, a, as opposed to very, great, you're very bitch made, man. You know, a lot of you niggas probably wear panties, thongs, and all that, man. They do because you get emotional over every little thing. The man ain't get all offended. No, what did the law say? Went to the law. He went according to the law. According to the law, okay, you you, you humbled her, you are not her. That's your wife now. That's your wife now. Where's you my can't money? Put her Where's away? the shackles? Where's my money? And that's your wife. It's that simple. And he couldn't put it away because he he, he took that. You know? Yeah. That didn't belong to him to take it in the first place, but he took it. So he had to pay and he had to lay with her for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life, that's right. It says, Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver. And she shall be his wife mm -hmm. because he has humbled her. He may yeah, because not. Because he have raped her. I'm going to say it that way. Just to, to drive the point home. He have raped her. He humbled her. He yeah, ignored her. All right? So, so he didn't get brought to court and, and tried and, and sentenced to 25 and life and all that. That's all bullshit. You niggas are caught up into this uh, American mentality. This is uh, bullshit, man. Well, it's all white man. It's yeah. all white man. Is the one that push out that rape shit. That rape first shit. All, first of all, the word rape. We went to the word rape. Right. Etymology. Right. Online. Right. The word right. rape. Yep. From repair, <coughs> which means seize, seize. grab. Yep. But yep. but it's the same thing with that word. Uh, um. The same Going thing back with the word image. idol. Image. Yeah. I mean. Same thing with the word yeah. idol. You got these morons trying to add more to the word. The word idol is from the Latin idol, which means image. The word rape is from the from the uh, Latin word repare. Right. Yep. Which means grab or seize, seize. by it. force. Yeah, by That's force. it. But but and you idiots don't even see that here it is the, the white man that condemn you, right? If you deal with a woman, right? So called rape a woman, but now you got guys that are pedophiles that's dealing with little boys and they don't get judged. They it's so to the point they're trying to just now 2016 pass laws to remove a statute of limitations. And most people that get condemned, uh, uh, if any get convicted of it, they get a slap on a wrist. And just gotta so that's shows you everything is bullshit. And that's the so-called all you guys that got a problem, 
with, with the so-called rape in its true entirety, you're following after the so-called white man. You're not following after the Mosai. You're not following after the scriptures, man. If you follow the scriptures as we just read, you will understand the whole matter. If that were to occur, what would what is to be done? We just read it out of the scriptures, man. But the elect won't have a problem with it. The so, elect, that's why um, I was just looking at the scripture in Isaiah 8 and 16. Hmm. Let me just read that right quick. Because the elect, what you just said, the elect, which we're talking about rape, we're talking about the law, the elect ain't going to have a problem with it. This is the book of Isaiah 8 and 16. Well, let me start at uh, uh, the 15th verse. And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. <laughs> One of the issues that they, they fell and they stumble and they, they uh, were broken and snared was the right issue. And they got taken up in it. They couldn't understand it. They couldn't digest it. But, but listen to the next verse, the 16th verse. Bind up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples. Mm -hmm. So the elect, they, they ain't going to have a problem That's right. with the law of rape. <clears throat> because they're one of the Lord's disciples, and the, the testimony has been bound up in them. It's mm -hmm. been sealed with them, right? Because they're men, which proves that they're members of the elect. Yeah, the most I can't bind up the testimony with you fruit cakes out there, man. Yeah. First of all, you gotta have a pair on you, man. All right, for the Lord to bind the testimony. That's how we know you ain't the men of the Lord, man. Because you can't not every you can't receive these sayings, man. You got this fucking. Bullshit is eat Edomite shit in you. This American westernized westernized mentality, man. Yeah, you understand. But when you deal with the, the testimony, it's harsh, man. Deals with hey, judgment. Hey, if I could just say this real quick. Now, when you look up the word humble mm. in Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty nine, the word is I not the same word that's used for Amnon and Tamar. Going back, you know. So it's the same situation. So the word I not. In Deuteronomy 22 and 28 means to actually humble, yep. to take. And in so-called westernized uh, um, mentality, it means to rape. Which the word rape does not mean to take a woman's pussy. It, you know, just and, 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 and now in the scriptures, and I think Apostle Gabal was hitting this uh, last week or whatever, to show you, you had, because men, back in the days, men didn't have no pink hearts like you niggas today. Men were men back then. All right. When, when, when the angel came, uh, uh, when the angel came, pink hearts, yellow clothes, yeah. blue diamonds. When, I mean, at the, when the angels came, remember they went to rape the the Levitic, uh, the priests, the Levites. Yeah, Elder Apostle Todd did the lesson on it. Right, yeah. it's like Apostle Todd's yeah, one yeah, brought yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, he, he brought that out. Yeah. But they they really wanted the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked. They were sons of Belial. That one, that one man. They yeah. wanted that one man. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm showing you how we was in the zone back then. He said, look, take my daughters. Well, Lot said the same thing. Right. Lot said the same thing. Lot said to take my daughters. Yeah. To those men that wanted to have sex with the angels. That's right. right. Yeah. And the reason why they, they said that. So, it was right. Wrong. Yeah. So they said, look, at least if you deal with my, my daughter, very part, at least wickedness won't, that won't yeah. be wickedness. You right. know? And it right. won't come upon him because right. he's under yeah. the care of his roof. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so you niggas ain't got the stomach to really understand the scriptures or read the scriptures. Man. You're not man it, enough. Which proves they're not part of what? The elect. The elect. Yep. Because uh, I got a scripture here, the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter. And this is this is what they forgot, Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right. See, they're going by mm -hmm. their thoughts, yes. so, which has been been uh, uh, yes. sold by Esau. Right, right. Which is really Esau's right. thoughts. Right, right. 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 Two thirds, remember, two thirds of Israel belong to Esau. Yeah, right. They got the mentality of Esau. Yeah. Right. They're really the so-called white men. That's why Yahweh made that statement. Mm -hmm. Ye of your father the devil. Yeah. And the lust of your father you will do. Yeah. All right? So that's why they have the mentality they have, man. Yeah. All right? Uh, read on. It says, let the wicked forsake his way. That's what you got to remember. If you're a member of the elect, you got to forsake your own way. Yeah. Which our way was goes back to who? The so-called white man. Yeah. Yeah. We've been schooled by him. And his when we went to his schools, his... Yeah, his, uh, his high school, yeah, exactly. all right. Watch this TV, watch his programs and shit. Yeah, yeah, so, right? That's why most I say my thoughts are not your thoughts. Well, um, <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. That's the spirit. Yeah. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when you return unto the Lord, you're going to understand about the true concept of rape, yeah, and and what it really means and how to apply it. Mm -hmm. All right. 
uh, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. <coughs> That's it on that. Yeah. All right. Because as the heavens are higher than the earth, so well, it's on. It's on. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll read it. I'll read it. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, yeah. so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People think that it's more righteous than the most high. Yeah. You know? And they don't know the Heavenly Father, they don't know His Son, and they don't know His thoughts. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of thoughts, yeah. it says we have the mind. Let's get that. And you know what's worse is that, that these that. same guys that, that call themselves Israelites, that, that they claim to know the truth, you know, that you are calling them Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they're in the same mentality as this goddamn white men and these uh, peons out here. You know? Well, yeah. that's, the, the, well that's Sakari. That's why Sakari's, uh, 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 Alizé's father, was a sodomite, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. He had no right. problem hugging up on the, the so-called white man. Yeah. And hey, man, I'm going to say it like this, man. Fuck, you get mad at me, make all kind of videos. I don't give a fuck. You could have ended up in another man's asshole. Man. Fuck. <laughs> you probably found out of it. Hey, we got it. We got the mind of the love. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, uh, what's the first day of the quote? Uh, because we're talking about the uh, I was started, thoughts, right? started four, I was started 14. We're talking about the thoughts of the Lord. Right? Good, good. Right, go ahead. Well, I started, I started, I started at 12. First uh, Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Yeah, we got this. That's why we understand about the rape issue, man. All right. That's how we, that's why, that's how we're able to understand it because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave us the spirit to understand it and he didn't give it to them. That's why they're all snared and taken by it. Remember, they shall fall, be broken and snared and taken. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Right. It says, which things also we speak, not things also we speak, like we're speaking about the rape thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, the so called white man. Rape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, please read that part again. It said, yeah. it said, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. So we're not going to sit here and define rape according to the so-called white men just to please you stupid ass niggas. That's right. All right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. But, but which the Holy Spirit teacher, go ahead. Yeah. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And you got to be spiritual to understand what was happening back then. That's right. How women were just really property. That's you have to be spiritual to understand why Lot was offering his daughters to those men that they didn't commit that wickedness. Right, right. Or that Levite priest. Yep. That yep. Took offering he gave his daughter and and the and the man's uh, concubine. You know? Yeah, you gotta understand why he did that. To prevent wickedness. Yeah. To prevent yeah. wickedness. You gotta be spiritual. Yeah. But they're not spiritual, man. Go ahead. It says. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high. But the net and they're natural men. Woo. Who's who's a, what's another example of natural men? Esau. Yep. Esau is a natural man. He's not a spiritual man. He's kind of. Yeah. If Esau is a spiritual man, they'd come before us right now in chains, man. Bowing, bowing down before us. All right. Go ahead, brother. It says, For they are foolishness unto them. They're fool and they look at us as fools. Yeah. Especially when we go out there and teach. They make fun of us, man. Which is a, which is okay. Beautiful. Yeah, sorry. You know, we, yeah, we we're cool with that. Yeah, we're in good company. That's right. Yeah, how was I went to the same thing Maybe for our honor come of humility. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. 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 Neither can he know them. Neither can he know them. You got cats saying that the heathen might can come in the truth. Neither can he know them. The natural man can't get this knowledge. You have to be spiritual to understand this knowledge. You have to be a spiritual man. Go ahead, brother. Because they are spiritually discerned. Yes, spiritually hidden. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Go ahead. But he that is spiritual judges all things. That's how we're able to judge the matter of rape. We understand what was going on back then. And we're not emotional about it. <coughs> right? As opposed to other cats. All right? Go ahead. Yet he himself is judged of no man. Right. They can't judge us, man. All right? Scripture speaks about that. Stay in the scriptures. Well, when thou art overcome, when thou art judged. What is that? Psalms, the 51st chapter, the fourth verse. And then there's one in a, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Right, which is a quote from Psalms 51 and 4. 
get the uh, Psalms. That's pretty much it on that. No, well, oh, there's more? Okay, yeah, go ahead. We got go more verses. It says, yeah. for who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct them, but we have the mind of Yahweh. Oh, that, 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 that was the point. <laughs> I'm glad you kept Conquer that. That spirit. was the point. Very quick. Read, that, read, read that again. Then. Yeah. For, verse 16. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct them? Yeah, who have known the mind of the Lord? The Lord gave us his mind. Right in the scripture. Not our thoughts. Remember, he said our thoughts are not his thoughts. Right. So he gave us his thoughts through the scriptures. That's why, he said, that's why he said, I will give you passes which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. According to the Lord's th uh, thoughts. Right. right. <clears throat> For who have known, because it has to be revealed to you, yeah. and it's only revealed to the elect. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. We have the Yahweh. mind of Yahweh Shai. Way of thinking. That's, that's right. it. This is Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. The spirit, right. No mm -hmm. condemnation, which that's the elect. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. condemn them, man. Yeah. All right? Judge no man. And we're justified by the sayings of the Lord, which Psalm 51st chapter says. Go ahead. Go ahead. Isaiah 54 and 17. Ooh. And that's, 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 that's the spirit. spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah. spirit. Go ahead. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Mm -hmm. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. Right, and, and, and let's let's break it down. Mm -hmm. Who are the tongues really rising against, man? The true men of the Most High, GMS. A lot of you guys, you you receive praise and accolades from all these niggas across the world, but we we receive all the, the dirt slander, you know. Yeah, yeah like I was saying, you get you get uh, you get uh, praise from uh, some niggas. Oh yeah, 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 which man, look. You got a cheesy rap praising you. That ain't nothing to be proud yeah, about, man. Exactly, exactly. That, you know what that nigga's about, man. He said, that's the only real. <laughs> let me tell you something. That's the only real Hebrew. Captain uh, Tazaria. Uh, yeah. Captain Tazaria. Yeah. Yeah. The real Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. 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 so that means he's invited to Planet Rock. And, 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 and guess what, man? You Fuck right. them niggas, man. Oh, well, they ain't too far, man. Apple yeah. don't fall too far from the truth. The niggas of the world, man. They not they know the truth. Man. His father, his father, he know yeah. what it is to take it up the ass. You know so what I'm saying? Too far beyond. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we gotta get up. It says, and every tongue that shall rise against thee. And every tongue. Wait a minute. You had this bitch ass nigga, this little midget, little fucking shrimp with some gazelles on. Uh, come up to the camp and sit there and, and talk about, yeah, hey, y'all bitch ass niggas, fuck y'all. From across the street, yeah. zooming in like as if, as if he in brother's faces, man. Let me tell you something, man. Everybody see right through you, you clown, man, you little midget. Okay, you black tattoo motherfucker, man. Listen, you's a nigga, and the most side is going to destroy you. And you hope, and, and deep down in your mind, you're like, damn, what if GMS is right? And that's why he's trying to cleave on to, to, to Alizé, Alizé and, and Gehenna and <laughs> Captain Crunch, <laughs> aka Chewbacca, them is your last hope, nigga. But they can't save you, like 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 Zion said, man. They can't save you, you motherfucker. They can't save you you little piece of them. shit, midget, man. Hey, I get uh, uh, Matthew twelve and thirty six. Okay. You piece of shit, midget, man. Oh, piece man. Of shit, midget. Now, that's why the, through the spirit of the Lord, uh, 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 I, uh, hey, I'm still a quote from that bastard, that wicked bastard, Gaina. Them brothers were courageous. They were courageous, man. <laughs> they totally ignored you. They ignored you, man. Because you was a clown, man. All right, you represent black me black media, aka clown media, man. All right, and the most side's gonna destroy. The Lord is destroying that so-called. Every other day, you got more people uh, uh, coming out about that black consciousness. All right, right now it's about uh, Africa being booty. Before everybody was finding out about. Uh, the other nigga, sure. Doctor Pork, or uh, Doctor York. Now yeah. the light, right? Right. Now the light is coming. The up. light is, is getting yeah, ready to get on that rotisserie, man. And you know what? So a nigga tried to do. He tried to dig a pit for GMS, but who ended up falling in it? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Bring that scripture. Yeah. 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 He that dig for pit. Yep. Bring yeah. that out. Go ahead. Sure. Fuck. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, he knows. So a nigga knows. Yeah. He knows that. Oh yeah. man, yeah. since yeah. since I started messing with GMS, yeah. all this firestorm has happened. It's happened. He knows that. He he he. But he trying to. Uh, like you say, he's trying to cling on to these uh, to the last, to these last little hope because he's reprobate, reprobate. Because you know you fucked up. You the type of nigga that want to try to be good with everybody. You know he, he want to be good with the Africans, the Hamites, black consciousness. Because he's, he's trying to get money from everybody. He's trying to 
Come on, man. You know, the, the bigger the Come crowd, on. the more money comes in. And then I was watching the, uh, Tommy Sotomayor's live show. So a nigga tried to call in. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, then Tommy put him in. Yeah, Tommy put him on hold, man. Show, man. Hey, Tommy, I'm trying to do the show. I'll get back to you yeah, later. That's what, that's what nobody yeah. take you. You talking about it. Do you know who I am? Do you know? Nigga, you ain't nobody. nobody. Nigga, you yeah. a jerk. You, you a, a joke, fuck, man. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? He's trying to get with Tony, Tony Soto, um, Tommy Sotomayor. Yeah. So like yeah. Tommy Sotomayor, because yeah. Tommy Sotomayor yeah. has a great Follow. Yeah, he has a broad yeah, audience. He's trying to so, get so it. So he's he's trying, to, he's yeah. saying, that great following to him is, is money. He's yeah. trying to hook into that. Yeah, he's trying, trying to get it. Yeah, he don't give a damn That's about, really about you niggas, man. Yeah, so about, I never don't care about you niggas, man. Yeah, he's talking niggas. about he's standing on the shoulders. I'm standing on the shoulders of, yeah. of black powers. No, yeah. nigga, you're standing on the shoulders of, of uh, no, Federal Reserve notes. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And them shoulders are getting weaker by the day, man. That's right. Don't you know right. that the Federal Reserve notes right. being devalued by the elites? Yeah. You dumbass. You're just a dumb nigga, man. Yeah. With, a, with a bent. Right? And, and you stand on the shoulders of, of, of the so-called black community because you're robbing them just like America is standing on the shoulders of these European countries which are keeping it afloat. You know, you just say yeah. you 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 doing the same thing. Them like, shoulders are getting yeah. weaker and weaker. Man. It's like yeah. a vampire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's and to the like dick, you, you haven't bonded out uh, natural tarhuti, nigga. You, you said fuck fuck, natural, fuck bonding that nigga out. Let me go get you a bench. Last talked about that dude anyway. Exactly. You the you phony ass natural, nigga, right. man. Sure you are phony there. Anyway, yeah. any those of you that are still into that bullshit, then you just yeah. the blind yeah. being led by the blind. That's all. We read that scripture earlier. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The Lord don't want you. That's all. It's Proverbs 26, 27. Whoso diggeth the pit shall fall therein. And that's what Sarnigan tried to do. Yeah. When he came down. And yeah. right after he that's did that to the track. camp, yeah. he tried to dig yeah. the pit for GMS. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the firestorm came out. That's right. About yeah. the Bambudi and, and, and Bruzo. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yeah, Africa being body. Hey, yeah, 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 no, you're right. You're right. I, hey, that nigga came out there with ill intentions, man. First, you try to talk that my brother, my brother, my brother. You ain't gonna talk, nigga. You ain't our brother, nigga. All right, and you a devil, and you you came out there trying to set us up like you always try to do, man, and the, slander us, man. The last time he came down, which we we you know begin to fell the apostle to our myself. Elder Apostle Ricardo, hey, Elder the Apostle Cold Rama. shoulder, nigga. We, no, the last time he came down, which years ago, a couple of years ago, we talked to him, you know, we, we were cool with him. We, we showed know, him the scriptures. Oh, the first we time, yeah. Him, yeah, the very first time. Yeah, the first time. We, we dealt with him on the up and up. What did he do? He cast like the snake he cast the word. Yeah. He, tried to, he tried to demonize us with that word rape. He, really? he, he and his flunky for life. Yeah. Now look what's happening to them. Yeah. Slowly but surely, they're circling the drain with that movement, man. And that's what's happening. You're going to find out that GMS, starting with the, the apostle on down, are the true men of Yahweh by Simi Yahweh Shah. The, the, the most high is going to reveal it, man. That's right. Well, he is revealing it, man. He's showing it to you. <coughs> Go ahead, brother. I'm Who's going to dig in the pit? She'll fall, pit she'll fall therein. And a, a good example is Saw Nigga. He tried to dig that pit for us, mm -hmm. yeah. but he's the one falling into it. Yeah. He's trying to and he's slowly falling down that pit. Mm -hmm. All right. He's circling the drain, man. Yep. And like I said, yeah, you call us baby rapists. Show, show me one account of a baby we rape. Show me of anybody we rape. But we could show you about uh, Bruzo. Yeah, 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 but we could the real baby <laughs> raper. <laughs> about Bruce the booty, you know. The real baby raper. We could show you. Uh, uh, well, be stinger, my man. Be stinger. Oh, yeah. The stinger. Yeah. The, the, the Bruzo stinger them up. Hey, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we could start with be stinger. We could start with uh, Poppy. My man, Pop Poppy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 See, he stinger, poppy, he stinger, yeah. And the list goes on and on. Every day, there's new ones. My man, new star, man. star, man. Every week, yeah. star's coming out with yeah, star. some person. He always says a ledge. Well, fuck a ledge, man. Yeah, it's, it's true. true. It's, it's true. true. It's the truth. But he has to say that yeah. Yeah, to protect it's his, uh, yeah. you know, he don't want to get sued. Yeah, the legal but, legal. But, legal. but every week, somebody's coming out from the woodwork. From the 70s all the way up to the present day. So that's yeah. a whole lot of somebody. a whole lot of Yeah. That's a military truth. You, you done reading that? Uh, uh, there's yeah. one more. Whoso diggeth the pit shall fall therein. He that rolleth the stone, it shall it will return upon him. Ooh! Yeah. 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 He, that, yeah. Yeah. he that rolleth the stone. He that rolleth the stone. Yeah. So a nigga trying to roll that stone on us. He, he, he the great the, stone, right, There man. you go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> we the great he, 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 he 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 it. You know who we are. Yeah, yeah. Talk about who yeah. you know who I am. Yeah, you ain't a you a no you ain't nothing. Yeah, you go, you know, this is where you're going, straight down. Man. All right, right, go ahead, brother. He that rolled a stone, uh -huh. it will return upon him. It will return upon him. 
And that's what's happening, man. Yeah. You're getting stoned at it, though, Rama. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, Genesis 12 and 3. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. Oh, man. Read and that again. Read that again. And I will bless them that bless thee mm -hmm. and curse him that curseth thee. That's, that's uh, since then, like I said, so our nigga tried to pull that stunt yeah, at the camp. Since then, that curse is, 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 is being intensified. Is that gonna stop? And it's not going to stop, man. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, and it says, and, uh, and, in, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. You know, so pretty much, you know, you know we're in the, the year 2016. It's May 5th, uh, uh, Day of the Dead, according to the Issachar, which that goes into a whole other thing. But um, pretty much, you know, he tried to bring accusations against us, which they've been trying to do for, for years. And then as soon as he said that, a couple of days later, this whole situation about yeah. Africa Bambooty blew up, you know? Mm -hmm. And that thing has been going on for a long time. The Lord just waited for this pro this particular moment right now when this guy came up to our camp to try to <laughs> accuse us of things that we don't do, you know, which we're not, we not with, you know? And, and then all of a sudden, man, the spirit just flooded them dudes with all type of stuff coming out. And it wasn't just one person. To, to know, because they can say, okay, well, it was just that one person. Four people came out so far, or four men came out so far. More. And there's it, no, a more. lot more than that. Yeah. And a lot more is probably going to come out that's going to expose this dude. You know, and the guy they was interviewing earlier, I don't know who the hell he was, but he kept playing, dancing around. Yeah, I met. You know? uh, I I met. Met. Yeah, he, he's dancing around. You know, you know what the fuck is going on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the allegations don't just go out like that and just ignore the shit. Somebody say, your, the, your boy that you hang with, he's a faggot. You ain't just going to be like, ah, whatever. Yeah. You're going to be like, yo, what, what you mean by that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, That's you're going to inquire about yeah. it, man. That's why this nigga KRS1, he got mad. He said, I want to hear shit. Yeah, because he's a faggot. He's a faggot. Yeah. 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 He's a faggot. Sadara said, nah, his little sweet ass used to hang out with her in the Greenwich Village. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, a yeah. faggot. So I, I heard, heard that. Him and Scott Rock used to get down. Uh, see, that's, that's why he killed Scott Rock. I don't that believe that he probably took Scott Rock out. Yeah. Well, he made a song about Scott Rock Johnson, man. Huh? Yeah, talking about he's a super yeah, rock. He's a super yeah. rock. He, he called is him a super rock. Oh, yeah. so you got him like on. had him on. How you know? That's a fucking yeah. song. Yeah, because he had him. Hey, well, it's coming out on that so-called Zulu Nation, man. Yeah. That's the Heavenly Father destroying all that nonsense. Yeah. You know, hey, earlier we read that scripture, Second Corinthians, the tenth chapter. Yeah, because before the like before the Lord cast down, we're gonna read it. We're gonna read it. So it's pre, good, I got a precept too. When uh, when uh, before the Lord takes anything down, he also he always speaks against it, brings forth a judgment, and then he reveals it. <laughs> then he reveals it. Then he brings judgment. Then he brings judgment upon it, just like Lahab. Lahab, you know, back in the days, he was supposed to come to the main uh, school. To get his counsel, to get his judgment, but he never came to the school. And he thought all them years after that he escaped. Then the spirit had Apostle Tahar, Apostle Debar, Apostle Raka, myself, and Elder Desire one run into him, you know, at a particular store. And then that day he got his judgment verbally, you know. And he, what he said, well, let the Most High do me. You don't. Nobody escapes. He brought his own judgment <clears throat> out of his yeah. own. Mouth. His own judgment came out of his own mouth. <clears throat> that's right. You know, that's, that reminds me of what Yahweh I said. Thou wicked servant, I thou knew mouth. that I was an austere <coughs> man. So out of your own mouth, I'm going to judge you. That's right. You know? Uh, Go ahead. Can man. I read this real quick? Yes. It's uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, which is this, this, this is dealing with Esau, the so-called white man, but it also applies to anybody else that falls in that category. And let me say this. We're, we're in the air of the push. All wickedness is going to be revealed. Come. Yeah. That's why all, all wickedness, brother Henry. Oh, oh you, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Not just some wickedness. All wickedness, all, man. Yeah. Just one, one verse. Okay. Luke, Luke 8 and 17. Yes. For <laughs> nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. <laughs> That's the spirit, man. Neither anything hid that should not be known and come abroad. That's why it's coming out on the Zulu Nation. Right? That's why it's coming out on uh, uh, KRS-1. That's why it's coming out on Africa Bombarda. Command. Right, yeah. society. Right, so because that was a, a, a foothold. That was yeah. a, a stronghold. A stronghold. It's now it's being broken, man. It's an idol, it's being cast. Right, it's being, yeah. it was an idol, and it's being smashed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It was yeah. an idol that was being worshipped. Yeah, 
Yeah. A lot of people a lot of people are looking up to that Zulu nation. Yeah. All right? Yeah, because uh, uh, yeah, uh, them dudes was singing about it, uh um Jack yeah. Call Quest. Yeah. yeah. Zulu Nation. Native, right? Yeah, native which uh, uh was other the other nigga Africa mm -hmm. from the Jungle Brothers. Oh, you came out of class, yeah. 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 Right, They're straight up for the flame yeah. and faggot, man. They could do a ballet and all that shit, man. Yeah. Native tongues. It, it was, that means Africa and Butter got to. He got to them niggas. The native tongue. Wait, what tongue? Wait, you know what the wait, native wait. tongue is talking about, right? Yeah. I, don't want I ain't got to tell you. Can't link it. From from Africa, that nigga, man, that scummy ass nigga, man. But yet you want to throw dirt on the true men of the Lord, man. And you got all this filth going on, but the Most High is revealing all you niggas, man. And the Lord's gonna reveal who his men is, man. Ain't gonna be no more fucking joking around. You niggas, on, some of you clown niggas. On the comic board playing games, man. Okay, first of all, the prophets of the Lord is speaking, man. Lord you know, you, and the most high is gonna kill you, man. Kill you. you yeah. see, and you brothers that that that's in GMS and that's waking up to this truth, keep enduring it. Pray the most high, keep you away from these bitch ass niggas, man. Yeah. All right, but no sloppy brother. Right, right. Run, run, run. I got something. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, it's uh second Thessalonians two and eight. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord, Yahweh I'm sorry, brother, because these niggas really want Esau, the so-called white man society, to continue. That's what it is. That's what it is. You see, yeah. we're the only ones really fighting against the society, man. Yeah. Don't don't be fooled by all that bullshit, man. Yeah. All right, that they put out there. We're the only ones that's really coming against the society, and we're the only true threat to the to the devil, to the so-called white man, the elites, the Illuminati, the same one who've been. In, Waking you guys up and telling you about this for years before it even came into what it is now. All right. First of all, Nate Satan. Okay, nasty Nate. Throw that bastard back into the fish fry. He's up, up there talking about. He's encouraging you to get further into the society and this world. Talking about the long haul. Ain't no goddamn long haul. The Lord about to destroy him. Now, 2016, or 20. We, we in the last days, man. You understand? You got uh, General Gehenna. He's trying to. Further mislead you niggas. He's lying to you about the market. He's telling you to take the market of beast. When the scriptures say clearly in Revelation the 13th chapter and in various other parts, if you take that chip, you're gonna be put to death. General Yahweh is encouraging you niggas to take the chip. Yeah, in Revelation 14 and 9. Mm -hmm. Wicked ass niggas, yeah. man. He but two thirds of them are gonna take that chip. Yeah. Right. Yeah, go ahead. They say he, he gonna take the chip and the dude that called him. Uh, S Dub, you're gonna take the chip too. He told you, man. He prophesied on you, man. It says But you might as well take the chip because he ain't a man of the Lord. Anyway. Right. 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 You might as well take 10 chips. All right. Go ahead. It brother. says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that when it says the wicked, it ain't just talking about the so-called white man kind. It's talking about all wickedness, man. All right. All right. All wickedness is gonna be revealed. We're in the the year of the push. We're also in the year of the push to reveal all wickedness. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead, bro. It says, and shall destroy. And shall the, destroy. Go ahead. With the brightness of his coming. Right. We always talk about the nuclear missiles zapping folks, but the Howie Shine and the angels, they're going to be zapping folks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Them angels, man, they, they got them laser beams. Yeah. They got they got them concentrated fire ready, man. Turning niggas. It's certain niggas. Yeah. You niggas, you niggas, you think you can run fast? Let me see y'all run a chariot. With the concentrated fire beaming right on your ass, <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gonna make it, man. You ain't gonna make it, nigga. All right, you gonna be scurrying and running, and that chariot go blaze. <laughs> that chariot's gonna blaze your ass, man. The angel gonna be right on your ass. Yeah, nigga, run, run, cocaine, zap your ass, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, the the word the word destroyed in Second Thessalonians two and eight is from the Greek word kat katargeo. Kakeng. So I like, like, I like, I like, I don't know too old. What was that? No. Katargeo don't sound too good. Yeah, no, nah, sound like you put a hurting on the nigga. <laughs> it says to render idle. <laughs> to what? To render idle. To render idle, unemployed, right, unemployed, inactive, Ooh. inactive, and operative. Yeah, the niggas that stand around with their hands in their pocket, yeah, yeah. the hands in the pocket, uh, the crowd, crowd, community. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You in, know, in they don't get zapped too. Con. Yep. Go ahead, brother. And operative, and operative. They're not operating. Not work to lukewarm. Not working. Yeah. All right, they ain't working. Go ahead. To cause a person or thing to have no further efficiency. 
to deprive of force, influence, power, to cause to cease, put an end to, to do, put an end to, do away with, mm -hmm. no, abolish, to cease, to pass away, be done away, to be served, severed from, separated from, discharged from, loose from anyone, to terminate all intercourse with one. To terminate. So that's our mother. It's totally. Man, them chariots, they're going to terminate TOS. Niggas, man. Totally Nigga running. You niggas already put your pants below your ass, so you won't be able to run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, brother. That was it on that. Anybody got something? My, yeah, I was holding Matthew's. Uh, if you, if you still, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Matthew's uh, twelve thirty six. It says, "But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment." And that goes for the scoffers. That goes for the scorners. All right. That goes for you too, Alize. The ones that are teaching the false doctrine. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> You're gonna have to give an account, man. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. That's why you gotta watch how you teach this word. Yeah. All right? Yes, you do. That's how you gotta, uh, uh, there's a scripture I'm, I'm coming and going about when you teach this word. Oh, uh, get that uh, rightly dividing. You can start. Yeah. That ain't the actual one I was thinking about, Second but that's Timothy a good one. Two. Second Timothy. Yeah. Timothy. Yeah. yeah. Or like it says in Revelation, real quick, till he finds that it says, "Uh, you can't add unto his word or take away." Well, well, you get know? that. That's in our uh, get the one in Proverbs thirty five and six, and then get the one in Revelation. Like earlier, we're dealing with the word image or the word idol, rather, and the word idol just simply means image, man. And you have the right kind of idol, and you have the wrong kind of idol. All right, when we put the picture of Yahweh Shai in post production, we're saying, according to Revelation, the first chapter, the 13th to the 15th verse, this is a depiction of what Yahweh Shai would look like. Yeah. And it's our job to set up that image yeah. or that idol <laughs> to destroy the, the idol that's already out there, which is Caesar Bolger. The false idol. The false idol. You have the false idol and you have the right true. idol. The true idol. Okay? And yeah, we idolize Yahweh Shai. Goddamn right, man. Who is supposed to worship? Mm -hmm. The 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 um Yahweh Shai himself made a statement. He said, All power when he was risen, he said, All power is given unto me from my father. So we're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. They had a problem with that. Yeah. Go ahead, brothers. Second Timothy 2:15. Study to show thyself approved. And that's why you're supposed to study. Your best bet is to watch the videos of Great Millstone, beginning with Apostle Elder Tar on down, man. That's right. All right, because through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem <laughs> Yahweh we're the ones that's teaching the real truth, man. All them other groups, man, they're, they're full of shit, man. You I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you like it is. They're full of shit. All right, go ahead, brother. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. It speaks about uh, some that have not the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. In 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, then the Apostle Paul said, I speak this to your shame. All right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. It says, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Go ahead. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That's why in the Bible we go here and we go there, like it says in Isaiah, here a little, there a little, because the word is divided. All right, precept so you have to write precept upon precept. You have to rightly divide the word when you're teaching it. All right, that's why it says rightly dividing the word. Go ahead. It says rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Go on. But shun profane and vain babblings. I mean that that doesn't have you don't need to interpret that. <laughs> shun means to avoid it. Vain and profane babblings. Profane is outside of the temple. Yeah, no, that's right. Outside, outside, outside of this. That's right. It says to shun it. And vain man, it ain't going to lead not to nothing. nothing. Right. Lead to death. Right. It's it's right. Right. It's, yeah. right. Except death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. It says, but shun profane and vain babblings. Go on. For they will increase unto more ungodliness. Right. Go on. 
and their word will eat as doth a canker, which the canker, when you look it up, is a cancer. That's where you get the word cancer from, which is a sore that grows worse and worse. Go ahead. That's it. And their word will eat as doth a canker. And we got plenty of examples, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. One of them is uh, Al Alizé. Yeah, He's nothing but a cancer, man, which the Lord is going to extract very soon, man. Exterminate. He's going he to mm -hmm. terminate that, your, that cancerous cell called Alizé. <laughs> Because he's trying to enter the body. Yeah, well, he's going to hit you with that <coughs> vitamin B17, which is the truth. <laughs> he's trying to enter the body. Yeah. Once a cancerous cell enters. enters the body, what happens to that body? Oh, it's 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 destroyed. Destroyed. Slowly, yeah. slowly dies, yeah. man. Yeah. Breaks down. So you got to get rid of the cancerous cell. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Of whom is Hyamaeus Hymenaeus, and Philemus. Yeah, which are two examples that we're Back teaching. Here. Yeah. Back then, we're teaching lies, wicked ass niggas, and uh, it's recorded in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Who concerning the truth have erred? Who concerning the truth have erred? Right, meaning that they were once a part of it. Right, and they erred. They went off, you know, went astray. Like Sakari, like he was at one time he followed us. Mm -hmm. Now he's, he's he's on some he's on some he's on, another he's on some bullshit, man. Yeah, all right. Path to destruction. We're talking about angels were created on other planets. He's on that planet. Wow. What planet? He still ain't to told us what planet the angels were created on. Maybe it might be. The and that's what he gets for trying to be a uh, <clears throat> god of fame. Yeah. yeah. Trying to be, uh, scripture yeah. said, profess not the knowledge yeah. thou has not. Ooh. All right? Slice. Profess not the knowledge thou has not. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. You, you, you lack humility, my, my, my friend. That's right. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already. That's what they were saying back then. I guess that was a, not guess, but that was a philosophy <clears throat> that they were teaching back then. Yeah, just like today, you got different things that are coming up, like the flat earth, you know, the mark of the beast is not the microchip. Resur resurrection. Um, res res well, reincarnation. The, part. Reincarnation and other things. Back then, the thing was... Yeah. The, re the resurrection, because mm -hmm. the resurrection was Yahweh Shai raising from the dead. Mm -hmm. You know, so they were saying that there's no such thing as that. So it was overthrowing the faith of some of the people back then. And that was a big thing back then that was being taught. You know, and, and, and when you did that, what you did was you were overthrowing the faith of those brothers out there that were really sincerely seeking the Lord. And that faith was they were looking for the Lord to come back. Right. Because right. Yahweh Shai told the 12 that I will come back. As a matter of fact, the angel. Yeah. That was standing there when Yahushua the was taken up into yeah. the chariot. The angel said, "Look, you see the way he's co he's going. He's coming. He's back. coming back." But the angel didn't say when he's coming back. Right. So could you imagine back then? You know, yeah. hey, maybe next week. Maybe next week. Yeah, going to come back. back. They had no idea it would have to be a whole two thousand years later. <laughs> yeah. and we're now we're in the, in the time when the Lord is coming back. Right. So here's Philetus and Hymenae saying the resurrection passed already. Can yeah. you imagine? The, yeah. the gravity of it, they were they were truly over, overthrowing the faith yeah. of some. But Ooh. those ones that were their faith was overthrown, guess what? They weren't part of the elect. Right. They were destined for it. Right. So that's why Peter said, do not ignore a day that alone a thousand years to us. Right. <laughs> there you go, man. It's all coming together. Go ahead. Hey. It's all coming together. Go ahead. And overthrow the faith of some. That's why we have to watch what we teach. Right. That's why we have to watch what we teach, because there's a chance you might overthrow the faith. Of something, you know, scripture say we're stewards of this right. word, right? And you have to be a, a, a righteous steward, right? Nice. Steward, right? You know, you guys, yeah, 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 real quick, it goes yeah, right yeah. Where, what this brother's reading right now. Go ahead, this is uh Colossians chapter 2, and I'll start at 8. It says, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And then the examples back then was uh, Alexander or Hymenaeus and Philetus, right? Yeah. And today you have you have your examples now. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so that's all you do for what? <laughs> philosophy and vain deceit. Vain deceit. Vain deceit. Right. Right. Yeah. Vain deceit. The Lies ship had made us people. Yeah. Talking about building hospitals and building schools. That's vain yeah. deceit. Yeah. Why is it vain? Because America is going to be destroyed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This so-called white man society is going to be destroyed yeah. by the chariots and nuclear missiles. That's so right. all these businesses he's trying to build, yeah. what profit is, is it going to be? When Yahweh Shai come with the chariots and those missiles start to fly, 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, Nate said that his mind is somewhere else. My mind is in another place. Yeah, yeah, well, it ain't on the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least he wasn't lying. Right. Yeah. He was telling the truth. He was yeah. telling the truth. He, yeah. it, it ain't on this. It ain't no, on no, it's not <laughs> like a heart. My, my emotions are wrapped in this. <laughs> yeah. 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 So his mind ain't on this. His mind is on making that money. Because when you see when you when you hear him speaking, if you look at his if you look at it spiritually, when you look when you look at him and he's speaking, you can see that them dollar signs, he's just in a trance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's like my you know, my mind is so more money, more money. Yeah, his more mind is so gross because he he taking schools and hospitals yeah. and, and you know, we could take his children out of the you know? so every everything he said was like cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Oh, money, 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 you know. Money. That's it. That's his motivation, man. That's yeah. it. And that's that dream that he had where the oil was taken away from him. You know? Yeah, he ain't got the oil. You know, yeah, sure. got the oil. Yeah. And then the scriptures say, live but not to be rich. Yeah. Yep. There's so many scriptures that cut that guy, Nate. It's not even funny. Man. The scripture said, lay not that treasures upon earth with rust and mold. Yeah, I wish I said that. Thieves and yeah. corrupt and thieves break. And you know what? <laughs> Moth and rust. That morph and rust is going to come when all hell breaks loose. Yeah. When, the, when the dollar is a totally <laughs> devalued, yeah. when the dollar has crashed, mm -hmm. the economy has crashed. Mm -hmm. There was yeah. one video I was watching. Um, the guy said, look, expect 50 million people to at least at least be killed. I think he said in the first or second week <laughs> of when all hell breaks loose. Because yeah. he said, and then he broke it down. He, he's, he mentioned a few scenarios. You got people that are in the hospital hooked up on machines. Mm -hmm. So the power is going to go out. They're going to drop dead. Yeah. You got people that won't be able to get their medications. Yeah. Right. Right. They're going to drop dead. Yeah. I mean, he was going down the line. Yeah. 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 The first you know, people that can't get their medications, yeah. they drop dead. The first wave. Yeah. People yeah. that are hooked up to the hospital, yep. the elderly, yeah. they, yeah. The elderly, yeah. elderly yeah. they drop dead. Uh, or, or, and then you, you're going to have roving gangs roaming the streets looking for food, looking for whatever. Mm -hmm. They're going to be killing each other. The book of Eli, the uh, road. The road. Yeah, the road. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why he said expect 50, at least 50 million. Yeah. I believe he said either in the first or second week yeah. to be to, to drop dead. Beautiful. And that's the scripture where, where it's, as a matter of fact, um, um, get that real quick. Uh, Jeremiah, the ninth chapter. And that's why they're trying to make sure that the, everybody verse. is hooked up to some kind of form of a pill mm -hmm. or they can cut right. into your body so you can have chemotherapy. Right. Any Anything that, that, that gets you hooked into these, these drugs. Now, they say once you take the, start taking those drugs, statin drugs, you you, you that's it, you're done. Yeah. You know? Because then you, your condition gets worse and worse. And the worse your condition, condition gets, the more you have to go to these devils in this hospital to get, you know, uh, um, your your uh, medication and your help from them. Yeah. You know, so pretty much once you, you know you you get you take that, you're done pretty much. You know, unless the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is with you and you're able to to uh, uh, break away from that and wean, wean away from that because they once they give you that, I man, that's witchcraft. Straight up witchcraft, yeah. man. They poison. got you under their spell, so to speak. Poison. You know, and it is poison. It destroys your body. You don't, and the, the thing about it is that they don't have the actual cure in there that can cure your body, but it's, a, it's, a, it's such a low amount and everything else around it is so, such poison that it poisons your system. It's a witch's brew, which yep. goes back to that's, uh, pharmacia, Amen. which means Amen. witchcraft. Amen. That's, that's, why that's why they have the symbol of the yeah. Sarducius with the, the curled snake and all. It's yeah. witchcraft. Yeah. That's what John Todd brought out um, you know, about when they set up the AMA, the American Medical Association. Right, right, right. right. You know? And they, they took that symbol to start with duty. Yeah. Right, exactly, because it's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Uh, Jeremiah 9, because this is foreshadowing what's to come. And Nate ain't talking about it. Gehenna ain't talking about it. Really, none of those other Israelite mm -hmm. groups are talking about what we're about to read, except Great Millstone. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 9 and uh, uh, 21, beginning at 21. It says, no, start at 20. Okay. Sorry, start at 20. <clears throat> uh, Jeremiah 9, 20. Yeah. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth. And it's talking to the men too, not just the women. Go ahead. And teach your daughters wailing. And teach your daughters wailing. We're supposed to be teaching wailing, man. You, you watch these other groups, the way they teach, like they're having a good old time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everything is a party. Like especially yeah. IUIC. It's an Israelite party. It's an Israel. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And everyone, her neighbor, lamentation. So we're supposed to be teaching wailing and lamentation, and lamentation because that's what's coming. Yeah. All right, go on. For death is come up into our windows. Wait, wait, when all hell breaks loose. Death has come up into what? 
our windows. Our, win our windows. Meaning it's near. When something comes up to your window, that means it's right upon you, man. Right in front of your face. All right? Go ahead, brother. And it's entered into our palaces. And it's entered into our palaces. It says deaf, right? Go ahead. To cut off the children from without. And to cut off the children from without. So them children, they're going to be dying in them streets, man. Yeah. All right? Go ahead. And the young men from the streets speak, thus saith the Lord. Even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field. And then there's going to be piles of dead bodies, man. Yeah. Because people won't have enough time. People are going to be dying at such a, a violent rate, rate, yeah, rate that you won't have time to bury them. Well, there's going to be no jobs. We'll bury them. All right, you ain't gonna have no ain't no ambulance and, and, and more guys. They well, that's work. it. You ain't gonna have no long car procession holding everybody up because some silly, sorry ass motherfucker dropped dead. Now, now you gotta be inconvenienced. You gotta watch fifty cars pass by you before you can <laughs> before you can get on the road. It ain't gonna be none of that. No funeral procession. You drop dead. You're gonna lay right right where you drop dead. That's where you're gonna lay. So many people are gonna be dropping dead, and dead bodies bring what diseases. Yeah. Pestilence. Right. There you go. Go ahead, brother. Speak thus save the speak, thus save the Lord. Even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field. And we're supposed to teach this. Right. This is what we're supposed to teach. And you got guys when we teach this, they say, Oh, you guys are fear mongers. Yeah. We teach doom and gloom. Yeah, you're 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 uh, uh, doom and gloom uh, prophets. You're fear mongering. This is not we're not selling fear here. Right. We're telling the truth. We're, the truth, truth, man. Man. we're, Lord. we're saying what the Lord's saying. Yeah. We're wanting to say to teach, man. Yeah. Right. We've given them warning. Right. That's pursuant to Ezekiel 3 and uh, 17. Kind of. We're not like these other others, uh false Israelite groups, you know. Like uh the scriptures say they're all dumb dogs, they cannot bark. You know, the, the job of a dog is to, to bark is to warn people, man. Yeah, to warn when a dog barks, yeah. the dog is warning you of impending danger. Right. It could be it could be a friend or it could be a foe, but at least he's warning, warning you somebody is 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 in your in your yeah. in your presence, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And as the handful upon the open field, oh sorry, and as the handful after the harvestman. And none shall gather them. And none shall gather them. Yep. So so many bodies are going to drop dead they're that they're not going to be buried, man. And that's the time we're approaching. We're approaching that time, brothers. All right? Yes. That's the time we're approaching, man. And none of them other groups are telling you that. Mm -hmm. Telling you what's really, what's, what's really going down with these prophecies, man. You wait when all hell break loose. Like I said, the guy said, I don't know his name. Um, the English brother put the video up. Uh, fear, fear the Most High. GMS, fear the Most High. Oh, Seven. Rakaya Kwong. He put the video up, but the guy was going into it. When the other guy asked him in the interview, he said, "How many people do you expect when this calamity comes? How many people do you expect to to to, to die?" He said, "Man, about at least fifty million in the first or second week." And I can see that. Yeah. And I can see that. Yeah. All right, I can see that easy. Yeah. <coughs> when you have pocket nukes going off, because you're gonna have pocket nukes going off, pestilence. You're gonna have pestilences. Oh man, like the movie outbreak or contagion. Exactly. They show you exactly how that shit is spread so quickly. Exactly. Yeah, and they talking about building hospitals and schools. Those are the things they turn into concentration camps in the overnight. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's <laughs> what he that put away the evil day. Like, yeah. That's what that's what that nigga put is doing. He put, they're not talking about the evil day. But we constantly talk about it. Time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, yeah. The scripture right. we just read. Yeah. Yep. So you feel if anybody else got we're approaching that time. Anybody else got winding down comments? Yeah, Oh, sorry. In one of the good one of the other things, look at now, look at two. They put now uh, you got the the feds coming in with this thing with the so called uh lesbian <coughs> gay right movement, you know, the uh, law I forget the name of that law. In North Carolina, where they passed, where yeah. the transgenders can't use the bathrooms of yeah. this, that, and the third, yeah, exactly. and that thing went is blowing up. But see, they're doing something big with that too, man. You know, expect to see something big from that that thing. That's all part of the agenda too, as the apostles are talking about. But when you go deep into it, really, the whole bottom line of New World Order and Freemasonry, when you get into it, it's homosexuality. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all yeah. about. It's, it's, it's totally. And that's why they got to get the Bible. 
It's a condition in the mind, like the apostle said. They got to get the Bible and the scriptures out of the way so that they can bring forth their agenda. Because as long as the scriptures is there, they can't promote and pass homosexuality. Oh, well, I was watching the video, and the guy brought out, there's a book written in 1989, uh, The New World Order. I think it's by uh, Epicent. Ralph, uh, Ralph Epicent. Uh, Ralph Epicent. Yep. And they said in the book, now this is in 1989, that they will promote the agenda of homosexuality to destroy the family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, it's happened. Yeah. And, and 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 that was back in 1989. It said that in the book, and now we see that happening. Good. Yeah. Now that's that's prominent. Yeah. Even Disney, Disney is coming out with that. What was that, what's that yeah. latest cartoon? Yeah. Uh, Princess. Yeah. What's the what, two two princesses, two princesses yeah, yeah, kissing. Yeah, I seen the recent yeah, two, yeah, two, two princesses yeah, kissing. Two princesses kissing. Yeah, yeah two princesses. Uh, yeah. I forgot what it's called. It, uh, the latest cartoon that came out from Disney. And yeah. Disney, for years, Disney been pushing out yeah. uh, 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 homosexuality yeah. and lesbianism. Yeah. Right. For yeah. years, Disney yeah. been doing yeah. it. Now they're coming now they out now they're full force. They're man. targeting these children at a yeah. very young age, man. Very young. You know? hey, hey, so, so that's oh, when you see that, brothers. That's a sign that the times that we in, man. And now you understand further in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, where yeah. our Lord Yahweh Shai said that time should be cut short. That time has to be cut short, but for the elect's sake. Again, they go that word the elect when you read in the scripture. Not for the whole nation, bro. And that's not what the Lord said. Matthew twenty four. The Lord said for the elect's sake. Good. Okay, because the most I said he had a remnant that was going to get caught up. And to that homosexuality bullshit. Here you go. You know, and that, now that's look, that, that y'all saw that. Y'all saw it. See what I'm saying? So we in the top. I mean, that's off off topic. Y'all brothers probably can't see it back there, but some shit just happened out of the blue. Some demonic shit. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. But we ain't phased because we know we in that time, man. We in the time, and that's why they they they're pushing hard again. They're going, but you got North Carolina so called taking a stance against that. Transgender, you know, bullshit. I forgot what they call the law or whatever. Transgender. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. You're, basically you're, if you're born, if you're born, whatever, you go to that bathroom. Basically, what you're saying. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah. You don't have to. Which, first of all, you're supposed to be putting death anyway if you a faggot or, yeah. or, or, or a lesbian. Yeah, or a transgender. But, but that's madness yeah. anyway. So they 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 bucking up against them. They're making a big stink. You got all these demonic, wicked ass Satanist superstars such as Michael Jordan. B wicked black boy that ass, uh, that slut, Beyonce, and all these other, they're speaking against these things. And now the feds is coming, putting the pressure on them, telling them they got to this Monday coming up to change that, to change that law. So that's the thing to keep keep looking out for because that's going to, tr that's triggering in the new world order, man. You know, but um, brothers, you got the, the well, we got a scripture, precept, you know, and the closing words or whatever to say. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, brothers, stay strong, man, because our salvation is very close. Be strong yeah. in the power of strong might. Power. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stand stand yeah. upon your watch, brother. Stand upon your watch. Yeah. Hey, we ain't got much more longer this bullshit to go, go through, man. Yeah. But just endure it, man. And really, these exciting times, brother, you should be happy, pumped up as far as that go. You know, we have, the Lord is about to destroy America. This, all, look, while people are sitting here celebrating all this bullshit, you got people going crazy over this stupid ass Trump rally, Hillary Clinton rally, and all this voting, all that that's bullshit. The for zombies. Right? The most yeah. is about to come and fuck these people up, man. Things are about to turn toxic turvy, so to speak, man. We're we approaching the them times, man. We read the scripture, brother. Death has what? Come up into our windows. We're that close, man. That's right. You know, right. the second Ezra is about the 16th chapter is about to come to pass, man. Remember Isaiah, the 55th chapter, 11 verse, the Lord said, His word shall not go out for oh, right. but it shall accomplish that which He proposed it to. Now, we just read by the prophet Jeremiah, it said, Death has come up into the windows. And not just uh, this nigga died. Uh, Today and then a couple of niggas died. We're talking about mass death. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're talking about death that you have to shake your head and say, "Man, a, a higher power is doing that." Was yeah. Frank, Frank, you know, and that's yeah. part of the least agenda. They, they try to bring that new world order. They need a great sacrifice, and that's that's what they want to do. To take out most of these people, yeah. and the Lord's gonna allow it because the Lord is gonna kill them. Yeah, yeah. They were most sides to two thirds of Israel. Yeah, yeah, you cut off it, the it, 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 yeah. And none of you other motherfuckers, <laughs> you other nations, that is, that's in yeah, America. And none of y'all gonna make it, man. 
You know, they're going to be right there with the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. And two-thirds, that's a lot of Israelites. Lot of, so you're talking about people, millions, that's hell, billions million. of Israelites. And exactly. two-thirds of that? Exactly. That's 66.2 thirds percent. Exactly. That's, yeah. a lot of, that's a lot of Israelites dropping dead, man, by exactly. different ways. And then in Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the Lord said, I have a point of four kinds. Yeah. Yeah. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear, yeah. the, wild, the fowls. Of the yeah. of the air, yeah. So that movie, yeah. The Birds, that's going to come to reality. You watch the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, yeah. when the birds suddenly turned on people, yep. started attacking them. Yeah. You know, and you got some powerful birds out there. Yeah. I watched one video where the golden eagle, he's called the golden eagle. He grabbed a goat. The goat was grazing on the mountainside. The golden eagle swooped down and grabbed the goat by its legs Damn. and pulled the goat off the mountain Damn. and watched the goat fall to the ground and bust up. And then the eagle swooped down and started eating the goat. Damn. That's yeah. the, the Google that the golden eagle. That's the, 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 the video I was watching. Yeah, it's called the five deadliest animals, something like that. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. the, them, you got them creatures <coughs> out there. They, yeah. they, we got some golden eagles waiting to grab some niggers, man. Yeah, hey, what the Lord that called nigger, it. That nigger, I'm sorry, brother. That nigger, yeah. <laughs> that nigger yeah. hand bone and skillet. Yeah. Them two niggers, hand bone and skillet. Yeah. You, you got, you got a golden eagle waiting for them niggers. Yeah, Pookie, yeah. Pookie <laughs> and Ray Ray. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They're going to they get the visit from that golden eagle. Right? That's right, man. That's all I got to say. That's right. So, you know, the brother got anything else to say? Hey, hey well, with that, man, hope you your know. brothers edify. And, uh, put down the okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the, this is the bullshit that they're trying to put out now. You know, that part of that faggot gay agenda. This is a Disney movie. Wow. Straight up. I don't know if you brothers could see it. I think one brother was uh, putting it putting it on a comic board, the name of this movie. I'm not too familiar with it, but that, that go to show you the time that we're in. That's how you know that we have to end. Real close, yeah. We were real close, man. The most You think the Lord going to allow that shit to happen, man? Yeah, exactly. Most I ain't going to allow that shit to happen. This, this old earth turn. See, and, and Nate and these other clowns, these sellouts, uh, Gehane and all them, they don't realize what's really about to happen with, with, with the white man's hands aren't doing it. Cause they don't sold out. They don't integrate it, man. They got. They don't have a problem with these things, man. Mm -hmm. All right. They might say, but they really don't have a problem with. It. That's why they don't. They're not looking to get out of here. They they looking for the long haul. No, man. We we about to get the fuck up out of here, man. All right. Any any day now, man. And the scriptures say, "Give the Lord no rest." All you brothers out there, the GMS and Pastor, put the video on. Yeah, the push. He put the order out. Part of me. Keep putting the videos up. You know, brothers, put as many videos as you can put up, man. Uh, All right, you can't. You can never put up enough videos. Constantly right. keep flooding the internet while we can, because the most I gonna shut this shut this down soon. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right, push, man. Yeah. Just keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. You get information. Spirit of the Lord, Lord is on you, man. Keep pushing, man. You know, part of me, you know, my, you know, I'm stumbling, but my vernacular is spectacular. Yeah, they understand what you're saying. I ain't, I ain't the most eloquent or, or yeah, well, they ain't you know, part of. Well, you know, <laughs> you the Lord said that. That's what right. What is going on? The Lord said, yeah, take away the el eloquent pen. Yeah. It ain't about yeah, eloquence. It's about the truth. Yeah. If you want eloquence, go check out Nate. He's a pretty eloquent bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I teach me yeah. lies. Oh, but like, he's just getting yeah. 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 exactly. so, so, it. Exactly. Hey, so I guess with that being said, Lord willing, through the Spirit of the Lord, <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next show. How about Shimmy Al Shah? To the elect. To the elect. Shallow one. Shallow one. Good, that was a fucking homework. <laughs> <laughs>